Hello and welcome to Still Got Legs, a Doctor Who rewatch podcast brought to you by another Happy Studios. This week the angels are closing in, Amy is counting down, and a familiar crack comes back to town. Like Icarus, he might have flown too close to the sun last week. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Still Got Legs, a Doctor Who rewatch podcast. My name is Nathan. As always, I'm joined by my wonderful companion as we go on this adventure through time and space and rewatch every single episode of Doki Who eventually anyway my <laughs> name is i've said that hello <laughs> hi <laughs> how you doing i'll tell you what i don't like i don't like how you always tell me to just be, be myself and to just let loose with the intro and then i always get a comment am i am i not allowed to critique yes <laughs> well there we go but a critique every week yeah. is not conducive to success i, I think so how, no. how, you you only get better through notes Oh, don't talk to me about notes today, Nate. No, I've had a bad day at work. Okay, bloody hell. Someone's bringing his work trauma into things. I am, I am. Lawrence, I'm... this is podcast o'clock. You leave okay. your personal life behind unless it uh, can lead to fun anecdotes and banter, okay? okay. All right. Ask can me it lead to any... fun anecdotes and banter? Yes, ask me if I've got any fun anecdotes. Okay, do you have any... Well, I kind of just did... Did you have, do you have any fun anecdotes? Uh, yeah, so today at work I had a bad day. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. You see, um, I, I said you're not in the podcasting spirit. I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. I'm here. I'm not queer. Um, okay. Does that joke work that way? No, I'm just sounds homophobic. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, I mean, if but you want to go with it, you can. But... Everyone pretend I didn't say that. Nathan, right. how are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm yeah. feeling good. I'm feeling good. I got a whiskey. Yeah. Oh, I did, where was the warning? What warning? I, we always, you know, if you're going to have a little whiskey, you normally let me know. Vice versa. Not true. Yeah. We've. We, we, what do you mean not true? We've done that before. Not true. I'm. Um, you know. Heads up. I'm going to get a little sourced. I'm not getting sourced. I'm having a whiskey. Ah, I see. A man. I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man in my late twenties, Lawrence. Am I not entitled to a whiskey? Just a man and his evening brown. Is that an even? Does that work? I know coffee's a morning brown. Whiskey isn't brown, really. It's brown enough. It's not really brown. If, that, if you think that's brown, you're drinking it wrong. In the dark, it'd be browner. <laughs> it's not in the dark, is it? It could be. If you turn the light off, <laughs> it's not brown. It's more like <laughs> orange, I'd say. Uh. Yeah, but it's does more the peach, orange than brown. Does the peach flavouring contribute to that, though? No. It, whiskey always looks like that, regardless of the flavouring. Well, I don't know. I've seen darker whiskies than that. Well, that's what whiskey looks like. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I don't right? know either. I don't know what you want from me. Also, yeah. you missed my setup for a fun joke, Lawrence. All right, sorry. I, I said I'm in my late 20s. You were supposed to say you're 30, so I was going to say I'm in my very late 20s, and that was the fun joke. Oh, I see. All right, well, you're... 30. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could just read my mind and understand my funny bits. I know. Sometimes. Sorry. It's never good when we're out of sync, is it? No. 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 But some days it's got to be like that. We've got to be transparent. Some days, some days we're not in the best moods. <laughs> These things happen. What a way to start a podcast. <laughs> Get ready, guys. Lawrence is in a foul fucking mood, so this one's gonna be a fun one, isn't it? I feel like I feel like we've we've garnered enough good faith with our lovely listeners. Every podcast is someone's first podcast. Oh, Lawrence. this this again? It's true. It is. Well, tell you, they can skip this one. Come back next week. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop that. We're doing. Uh, congratulations as well. You put out more than one TikTok this past week. <laughs> Thank you. I was sticking to the um to when the, the second one dropped, I was like, What? Two? <laughs> I don't in a week? It. Jeez, is he feeling okay? Maybe this is why he's in such a bad mood. Yeah, because I've I've just been dragged down by having to make that one extra TikTok. Yeah, this week. it takes him ten minutes to do it, but he's had to put in more than it takes longer than ten minutes. I've got to find the clip. Oh, gotta you do... gotta, he's gotta download uh, some YouTube videos. No, no, I already have the episodes downloaded, so that's oh, actually next time. Yeah. How you, how'd you get those downloaded? I'm not telling you that. 
Oh, a yo-ho-ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> no, a bottle of uh, nice brown whiskey instead, actually. Ah, oh, he's brought it back. He's brought it oh, back. Yeah, and so, with see? that, everyone, we are here to discuss... Doki Who, it is Series 5, Episode 5, and Episode 65 of this podcast, <laughs> uh, Flesh and Stone. It is, of course, written by Stephen Moffat, directed by Andy Smith, the uh, concluding part of this two-part Angel River Song fun bonanza storyline that we find ourselves in. Lawrence, how are you feeling this week? Yeah, I'm... Look. I like it. I don't think it's as solid as last week, if I'm honest. Boom. Fighting words. No, not not necessarily. I think I quite like it, and I like that it's... This episode is basically like, what if the Doctor and his companion were on an adventure, and then another adventure started taking place before they were ready for it? Like... I really quite like that aspect of it, and I think What do you that, mean by that? What do you mean? Well, like, they're in the middle of the angel stuff, mm. and then the crack is there, and it's like... Spoiler alert. What? No, stop! No, no. <laughs> the crack is there, and it's like, hello, I'm the crack. And Spoiler then it's alert. like, the doctor is busy, and then he's like, oh, fuck, now I've got two shit. Is two that not things. just how a plot unfolds? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, the thing happens, and then another thing happens. I don't think that's like a whole other adventure appears. I think that's just how a story unfolds and works. No, but it's two things, isn't it? It's two different ideas, two it's different not, concepts. It's not, well... I can no. I I see what you're doing. You're trying to frame this as if it's just like, oh, that's just the plot. And yes, but I it guess is it is just the plot, though. I'm not trying to frame it like that. That's just what it is. No, but by the fact that it's in the fucking episode, it is no, literally it, just the plot. But it's all right. Then I don't know. Just picture an episode with like the Slovene, and then the the universe starts ending at the same time. Just like completely separate to what the Slovene are doing. The Slovene aren't in cahoots with the universe ending. No, no, it's different than that because if the two had um, nothing to do with each other and did not link up at all throughout the episode, then I would agree with you. Okay, but they they they're woven together. It's part of the same story. It's not just like, oh, we're doing this. We're running from the angels. And now the crack is here, and the angels will never know about this crack, and it has nothing to do with the angels. And as far as the angels are aware, they this crack might as well not exist at all, and it's just a completely separate storyline to them. Then I would agree with you. Yeah, but it's it it they're it's all thrust a into a new element. scenario. No. no, it's just a plot element. Surely you know how how a story works, Lawrence. No, for no, you know me. I'm not in the mood to be this facetious today. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying. Stop it. Stop bullying me. I don't know what you're saying. I don't even think you know what you're saying. Oh, maybe I don't. What, how do you feel about the episode? Because last week was a certified banger, if I remember correctly. Last week was a certified banger. This week, I feel like it's a banger. I feel like it's, okay, it's yeah. good. It's not a certified banger. Okay. okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's as good and as, as high intensity and as breakneck as last week. I don't think there's a lot to like about this episode. I think there's a, yeah. a lot of good stuff, a lot going on. There's a lot to like really sink your teeth into, some twists and turns and fun surprises, some great performances, some fun spooky moments and all this kind of stuff. Um, and there's some, you know, <laughs> there's, there's, there's some stuff which we'll talk about, which not so great. And there's... Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, which which does obviously bring the the not that there is any scores we don't score these, but it but it does sort of bring the uh, the overall vibe down a little bit. It, um, yeah, but yeah, luckily it's not like there's certain it, elephants in certain rooms that are <laughs> yeah. that are hard to avoid. Really, it we look we'll get to it when we get to it, but we're we're thankful that it's largely segmented away from the episode. It is mostly like you could cut it off and it would yeah. be fine. Like yeah. you could, it would probably make going into next week's a little bit difficult. But you could <laughs> just like fucking chop it right off. And Imagine then... going into next week just being like, "What the fuck did I miss? <laughs> what happened between these episodes? <laughs> My God, he's popping out of a cake. He's telling us all sorts of stories. Oh goodness. Anyway, we will get there." Lest I say spoiler alert. Lawrence, shall we get into it? We shall indeed, Nathan. We're on a cliffhanger from last week. You're one of, you called it one of the best Doctor Who moments ever, I believe. I don't know if I said that, but you I said stand something by to that it. effect. I said well, I said it's good, is what I said. <laughs> I think you were a bit 
<laughs> more amped than like, yeah, this is good. <laughs> no, I was. I was, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I said it's one of the best moments ever. And if I did, I stand by it because it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Comb through the entire last week podcast and it clip out a bit where you said it was the best thing ever. I won't do that. I'll just that... say it right now. It's the best ever. There we go. Oh, I can't believe that was from last week. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, we've got a cliffhanger to resolve. Um, the Doctor has been put in a trap, and if the angels are smart, there's something that they should never put in a trap, and it is him and a gun and a sea lantern. It's uh, one so... thing that they should never put in a trap, and it's also not a sea lantern. Okay. It's a, it's a fucking gravity globe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just... Look, we didn't even touch on this much <clears> last <throat> week, but it is just a bullshit device. Like, it is... <laughs> I mean, so is anything in Doctor Who. Yeah, no, I know. When is that not a bullshit device in Doctor Who? I'm not against it. I just think it's funny. Also, the Gravity Globe was used before. It was in um, the um, Ood's Devil storyline. What happened there? What was the... When they, what? When they went into the caves and to, on, on the planet. When they used the... Did it look the same? Pretty much, yeah. Huh. I literally cannot recall that. Maybe we didn't mention it then either. I don't think we. I don't think there was much to mention, really. <laughs> Fair enough. And the episode was short as well. It's just a big ball of light which floats and illuminates the place. Really, <laughs> like in Minecraft. Do you, do you know what a sea lantern? Oh, is? fuck off! We did this last week. <laughs> it's not a sea lantern. All right, everyone jumps after the Doctor fires the gun. What happens? They land on the ship. They do, but with a twist, a literal twist. Why? What's the twist? The camera twists around, doesn't it? And it's like... Oh, they're upside down. Yeah. Is that a twist? A little twist. Is it? No, not... I feel like, again, it's more just a plot element. I that. was being... Cu- no, you're doing this to one I don't think you I, was- know. <laughs> I don't think you know how stories work. I was being cute. Maybe this uh, is why it you're tw- a bad No, writer. it fucking twists. The camera <laughs> twists around. This is why you're a bad writer. You don't understand <sighs> how stories work. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Right. <laughs> everyone knows what I was saying, and everyone actually chuckled as well. Okay, okay. Everyone go, onion, um, everyone go watch Onion Skin and tell me what you think. Oh, for uh, God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's just as damning for you, I'll have you know. No, I didn't write it. I was in it, but I didn't write it. Yeah, true. I had a good summer making it. It's not the best piece of work one could produce. I will have been. I didn't steal the end of the Black Mirror. No, <laughs> right. Actually, I meant to bring this up because so did you. <laughs> So did you one time in a play that you wrote for us. And you were like, oh, look I at did. this amazing bit of writing that I did. I and did. we were like, yeah. that's actually really good, Nathan. And then later on, I watched Black Mirror and went, that jammy no, fucking No, you bastard. fully knew. You fully knew. I you didn't know at the time. You fucking did. Know. I did not know. You did. We talked about it. Let's yeah. not steer away from the fact that you did it too. You're guilty of Black Mirror theft. <laughs> hey, who among us has not done a little bit of Black Mirror theft in our time? Okay? <laughs> a show which we ridicule as well, by the way. But it's good it's enough a bad for us to show. It, it was good before um, the the first Netflix season where it was going off topic. But that's what we do on this podcast. Yeah. If you're here for exclusively Doctor Who talk, I think <laughs> this is the wrong podcast for you because we go all over the place. <laughs> all right, but okay. When it comes to Black Mirror, we might eventually do it on an, another Happy Pod. Um, but hey, we got 14 seasons of Sherlock to do first somehow. Oh god, yeah. Fuck you know. We gotta figure how to work that out. Uh 14 seasons, 14 episodes. Um what was I saying? I forgot. The Black Mirror. It was oh yeah, good. Black Mirror. Black Mirror's good up until the f- the first Netflix season was yeah. was good. And then after that you can just stop because yeah. like it's it's all downhill from you there, really, really. want to just drop off immediately yeah. after that point. Because then it, it really quickly divulged into like what, what if, if your game... phone was going to shoot you in the face or whatever? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just like... What if your game made you gay and that's a bad thing, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> it just feels like... And I know, I know Charlie Brocco is obviously... He's gotten older as the show goes on, but it just feels like the most out-of-touch dad just yeah. writing, like, I'm scared of Facebook and I don't like this yeah. <laughs> sort of stuff, you know? It's just... Oh. It started as as someone writing it that had like a genuine edge and like yeah. there were, there was interesting stuff to say and technology was less prevalent in mainstream lives yeah at that point but then as soon as technology got more involved like and, and in real life it started parried parry it parodying. parodying itself yeah like it started actually buying into Black Mirror ideas. Mm. And like just in real life, then Charlie Brooker was like, "Oh fuck, they're actually doing it. How can I? How can I make satire out of something that is already a joke itself?" What annoys me about it as well is whenever there's like 
some new kind of tech unveiled as well. People are always like, oh my God, this is literally like Black Mirror. <laughs> Calm down, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> You can't, not everything is out to kill you, okay? Yeah. Just calm yeah. down for two seconds, all right? I like those episodes of Black Mirror as well where it's really clear that Charlie Brooker had another concept. Mm. Like, like he was just like, I actually just wanted to do something that wasn't really about technology. So he's like, human beings are terrible and they have phones. Mm. And, it's, and it's like, okay, fine. I understand that there's a technology edge in there, but you were, you were really scraping the barrel. I only watched one episode of like the newest season that came out. I only watched the first one. I was like, I said, no, for me, I reckon, because that is bad. I don't even think I got as far as that. The last, the last one I watched was the one with Andrew Scott is an angry Uber driver or something. Oh uh, yeah, that was like last season, I think. Yeah, or, like maybe the one before. I don't know. I really I don't know. know. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Best episode of that show is the only one that's actually happy. Uh, San Junipero. There you go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Or the one where everyone's a nonce. And no, Radiohead that's what play. And that's, that's the ending you stole from Black Mirror. Yeah, all right. What was the one you stole? The, <laughs> um, the, the Daniel um, Kaluuya one. The right? Daniel Kaluuya one, yeah. The 5,000 something, what, what is it called? I d- something like that. Something like... I can't remember. Triple it's, it's Donald Gleeson was a sex robot. <laughs> yeah, he was Hayley Atwell's... <laughs> he was Hayley Atwell's fuck doll, wasn't he? <laughs> There's worse jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren <laughs> Sorry I mean fair but <laughs> You seen that new Mission Impossible? Whew. Let's move on <laughs> <laughs> Okay anyway, um, That was Black Mirror talk for this week It will never happen again um, Where was we? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> No, they're upside down. They're on a. They've used the the sea lantern. Now they're upside down. Ah, uh, yeah. The angels are looking more like angels because they're mm. like, I don't know, they're getting better or whatever's happening. Like we need uh, them to start moving now, so we're going to use the assets that we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Um, the cliffhanger is resolved, but they're in no way out of danger. I yes. like this because it's just basically the gang running from one problem to another. You don't mm. like in this like opening segment. You don't like really get a moment to catch your breath. It's just like. All right, gunshot. We survive. We're on the roof, but fuck, they're coming. We gotta go. We gotta. We get into the ship. All right, good. Oh fuck, they're here too. Okay, okay. Now we gotta turn off the lights. Oh fuck, they're coming through. It's just one thing yeah. after another, and it's it's good fun. It's it's more of a chase. So often uh, in RTD One's era, it was like the cliffhanger resolved it, and then they were like back to base. Let's think yeah. of another plan. <laughs> cliffhanger was immediately resolved, and yeah. then it was just like. Just basically the start of a new episode, basically. <laughs> Doctor's like, but what if I had a sonic screwdriver and it fixed this problem? <laughs> Not always. <laughs> but or, come on. I don't think it was ever that, but... I, mm, or um, some device. So, uh, device, yes. Okay, I'll, fine. I'll give you that, but right. I don't think it was ever just the problem solved by a sonic screwdriver. Um, did the... Did you like? I got a little bit lost when the doctor was like, "We're like going up a chimney," but they were going through this, and like it was all gravity shenanigans, and it was a little bit like firing a portal gun from that game. What are you saying? When the doctor goes through the, because <clears throat> they're already upside down, so he goes through a, a a trap door, which is actually a kind of a ceiling thing. He goes further up, but it looks like he's going down. I, I feel like I've lost you. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> they fucked my head up a little bit. I was watching it like, hang on, so. The, Hey, what? <laughs> it's it's really not that difficult to understand. It was for me. Why is it? What's what's so difficult about it? They're they're on the outside of the ship. Yeah. They climb in, but the gravity is different on it on the outside to the inside. So he's just lucky. He's, so to him, it's just a normal walkway. But from the outside, it looks like he's stood on the wall. Oh, so it's the perspective kind of thing of it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm with you now. The irony of me looking away from the screen to make notes to then get further lost. See, this is why it's not working out for you. Okay. Okay. We've been through this. I don't have time left. I'm busy making TikToks. I can't watch it twice. All right. Okay. I'm busy watching you made, you've made two fuck off. You've made two <laughs> fucking TikToks. Okay. Yeah. Don't start getting cocky. All right. <laughs> I just needed to make more than one. I couldn't. I couldn't come here to this recording in good faith, having only made one again. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens next week, folks. Oh, Stay God. tuned. Oh dear. Um, Catherine's here next week. She'll judge you too. Oh no, Catherine! Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. um, I do like the Doctor's kind of. He's he's got no time. It's a theme throughout the episode anyway, but he's got no time to reassure people right now. No, like, he doesn't. Yeah, it's yeah, good fun. It is saying <clears throat> he says like, 
I, Amy's saying like, you know, if we go there, we'll die. And then he's like, well, if the gravity fails, fails we'll also die. No, 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 no. You got this wrong, Lawrence. Uh, Amy actually <laughs> asks about the gravity, and she, you know, she's inquiring because the the ship has crashed, so the gravity could fail at any moment. And the doctor says, "I thought about that." And Amy asks, "All right, good. What?" And he <laughs> says, "And we'll all plunge to our deaths," which is good fun. See, I thought about it. I mean, he's right. He's right. It is that build up. He's good yeah. at that. We spoke about this. He's good yeah. at doing that little. I've got a solution. It's this, and it's terrible. <laughs> And we're all thing. gonna die it's good fun uh river asks um oh well he he they're trying to like get through the door and he says there's there's no way to override the security protocols it's impossible and river asks him how impossible and he just answers two minutes that's pretty cool like <laughs> when you think about it yeah it's impossible but it's like it's impossible but it can be solved in two minutes yeah but good. two minutes i do not have but, yeah but well, but i still. mean yeah well yeah it's it's a good concept. There's a few of those moments. I think there's mm. one that we won't get to it yet. It was something that happens a bit later down in the episode where there's just like something absolutely that cannot be done. But the doctor's like, All right, give me a second. Or he says like, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet or something. I haven't stopped talking. Mm. It's something to that effect. But yeah, he's on a he's on a rush today. Everyone's asking him questions and he's like, I can, like, I can do all this stuff, but you're going to need to give me a minute to breathe. All right. I need to do stuff. I feel like we need to give you a minute to breathe. I feel like you don't know what you're saying. I know what. <laughs> now I'm going to shut down. I'm not going to no. talk. <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't like you now. <laughs> Why not? We're friends. Uh... I don't appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate that at all. No, I'm saying that there's everyone is asking him stuff, and there is a moment later on where he says something to the effect <clears throat> of like, "I'll do a thing." Yeah, like what? What's the plan? I don't know. I haven't finished speaking yet, and uh, it's cool. It's good writing for the Doctor. I like. No, he it. literally says, "I'll do a thing," and River asks him what thing, and he says, "I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet." Respect the thing. Well, there you go. Respect the thing. I feel like you're not respecting my thing. I feel like you. <laughs> no, I feel like you just don't know what's going on because you don't pay attention when you're writing notes, <laughs> and you miss stuff. I didn't miss anything. I literally you brought this point everything. to you. <laughs> so I didn't write down the exact quote. Shoot yeah. me. All right. Well, I will. I will. Thank you. Um, maybe I could use it this week. Who knows? Mm. Um, so they have to turn out the lights um, so that the doctor can open a dead end door. It's like, yeah. um, you know, they're trapped unless the door can be opened. But to open it, they have to shut down all the power for... What the doctor describes as a fraction of a second. We'll get to that a bit later on in a later hey, segment. Who turned out the lights? Oh, there we go. Call a back. Bit, a little the moth callback. <clears throat> he loves turning out lights. <laughs> he does. I mean, with the angels, you kind of have to. You no, need to get that spooky yeah. effect. No, yeah. of course you do. Yeah. yeah. It's and it, and it and it works. It's a ten scenes, very spooky. The moment he says like he has to turn the power off, he has to turn the lights off. Everyone's like you sure about this one, Chief? <laughs> yeah, like, this sounds like the opposite of what you, we should be doing. You know what we're up against, right? Like, <laughs> this is the angel's fucking modus operandi or whatever that fucking Latin word is, you know? <laughs> I'm, just, look, I'm not going to correct you. I don't know it, so go for it. I think I said it right. Mo modus La operandi? Modus operati? I don't fucking know. I'm not Latin. You're already doing better than me because I've never heard that phrase in my life. You will have heard that phrase. There's no way you have made it 26, 27 years through life. I know, Audra. You've, no <laughs> you've made it 27 years through Stick life. with the first one. I'm younger in the Ooh, first one. No, you're not. Uh, there's no way you've made it this far without hearing that. You will have heard that. From you, a minute ago. No, it was in movies and shit. You'll have heard it. Okay. You've seen movies. Yeah, but I'm busy making notes, so I'm not paying attention. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too busy writing your letterbox reviews. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one talked to me. I'm trying to write my letterbox review. Um, I like the uh, the little exchange between Ian Glenn. I wrote down him. He is just Ian Glenn in all my notes this week. No. Who's that? F he's Father Octavian. Okay, we'll call him that then. <laughs> I don't know his name. <laughs> I like it um, that Father Octavian kind of pulls River to the side and, and sh he, they have this moment where... Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, like, do, do you <clears throat> trust him? Uh, yes. And then she said... Uh, what does he say? So he's not just a madman in a box or something. What's said? <laughs> I don't need this judgment from you this week, all right? You've already... <laughs> Wind it in, will you? <laughs> no, but... If you're going to praise a fucking bit of speech, then I think we should, you know, not be like, oh, they said some shit, and he's like, you know... 
you fucking belly no fucking trouble. He says the words. And then I like the exchange. Okay, so the exchange is, um, do you trust this man? River says, I absolutely trust him. He says he's not some kind of madman. And then River just repeats after a beat, I absolutely trust him. Good. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's the exchange. Okay. Was it this podcast or AHP where a couple of weeks back you had no time to make any notes and I had to carry it? Um, it was this, but I still did okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you may have not done as bad as I'm doing, but I've had a bad day. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. And don't we all know it? <laughs> and don't we all have to suffer because of it? <laughs> I'm fine. Um, I, yeah, it's a good bit of setup. Um, basically, River has this moment. I'm not even going to try and quote it, but it's set up that if the Doctor knew who River truly was, yeah. Then it was angry. kind of touched on last week, but he would be not he so be too keen. happy. He'd yeah. be a little, he'd be a little angry boy. So it's more, and he does get a little angry boy in this episode. He does. I like that. I mean, we're obviously, mm. we're not even close to it yet, but it is. It, it's it's a nice difference, and considering first mm. kind of thing that Matt Smith filmed. Mm. What's the? We'll, mm? see. we'll see. We'll see. Mm. Okay. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. What's the noises this week? Um, <laughs> the doctor tells Amy to spin the lock four times uh, when the lights go off, to which she replies, 10. Oh, mm. sizzle. Um, and then corrected to four. She says, yeah, no, I heard you four times. Yeah, what are you on mm. about? Fuck off. Leave me alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just a segmented moment. Maybe it will come back. Maybe yeah. it won't. Who knows? No, I think it's fine. Nothing okay, to worry about. Yeah. Um, the, it is quite cool when the lights do actually go off, though, and like... The the only thing illuminating the angels is the muzzle flash of the weapons I, when, right. they, when they go off. At first, I was like, it, and it took me until this watching of the episode. That it's I like was... that scene in the Batman where the Batman <laughs> is walking and he's getting shot. It is. It I is, think this, that's in the Nolan Batman and the Reeves Batman, isn't it? In the Nolan well, one, it looks hilarious. No, it's it, a hack. No, yeah, no, no. Hang on. This would make Nolan the blu the blueprint. Maybe. Nolan has never been the blueprint of anything except sexism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is not the show, Lawrence. This is not the show. <laughs> Lawrence is getting angry because I installed this. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna wait until the very first second of the next AHP episode. I'm gonna be like, and to respond <laughs> to the certain allegations made. Um, no, it's it's yeah, it's a great moment. At first, I always kind of wondered like shooting them isn't going to do anything, and then I was like, oh no, it, it, they need the light from the muzzle yeah. flash. That's the <laughs> point of that. Yeah. They're not shooting them to try to stop them. They know it's a fut <laughs> a uh, futile effort. To but it's, do that. it's clever, and I like that he, he he says something like about the spreading of the guns, like fire, mm. even just firing at walls. Like let's get yeah. that light bouncing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just got to keep on shooting, boys. You just got to keep on shooting. It's clever. It is. It's good stuff. Um, the uh, the gang makes it to the secondary flight deck, but the angels are still coming through. They're like, ah, that door's locked. Nothing's getting through that. And then it starts opening, and then they're like, oh, fuck, all right, maybe maybe they are getting through that. This is where I wanted to ask you a question. Oh, I love questions. <laughs> Another happy question. <laughs> Go on. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just forgot that segment ever <laughs> for, existed. For anyone who doesn't know, that's the uh, the theme song to a long dead segment on another happy pod. <laughs> dead for a reason, too. Yeah, yeah mostly Lawrence's. Um, but anyway, this is in a bad mood, so I won't provoke you too much. Thank you. Don't poke the bear today, Nathan. The bear. You're kind of a bear, I guess. Wouldn't I have to be gay to be a bear? No. You can be. You can be straight in a bear. Can I? Yeah. So what? So that's just a hairy, it's just overweight how you're perceived. person. It's, no, it's just how you're perceived. You don't have to be overweight to be a bear. You can I just thought, be bulky. Huh. Well, I guess anyway. I'll, I'll slim up then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time I've just been trying to meet bear quota. <clears throat> um, I... Yeah, anyway, bear, the question... I know, I know, bear is a thing in the gay community, yes, but I'm saying, like, you... you like, you kind of do have to be... Okay, no. You don't have to be gay to be a bear, okay? But, okay. like, I guess you're you're right in the sense that you're technically not a bear because you're not having sex with men, okay? Mm. But, like, that won't stop gay people from categorizing you as a bear, even though you're straight is what I'm basically saying. I see. Yes, that's basically where I'm coming from. Right. I learned so much being mates with you. 
<laughs> I do, I do. You you broaden my horizons, I think. You was you was a different man before, <laughs> before you <laughs> met me. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is I know exactly what you're referring to. <laughs> oh, I was very unaware of, of, of something. Anyway. Um, I, 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 I grabbed your collar and pulled you away from that all right pipeline you were formed. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sound so much worse. Anyway, um, the question I have for you, Nathan... Is that if an image of an angel, or yes. do, does the image of an angel determine the angel's strength? No, why would it? So, what? Well, here's the thing: because angels are, you know, their whole thing, as this two-parter has told us, the new law is that ain't that image is their big thing. They draw their power from their image. They can basically create new angel life through an image. Mm. Um, my question was basically if. I was an angel, and I was like a, I was a statue of a big muscly person. Would I, when I, when I, when I became an angel, when I was no longer quantum locked, would I, would I have access to those big muscles? Like, would I be able to, would it determine my strength? So, so are you asking if you yourself was turned into an angel? Yeah, or if just an, an angel was a statue of... Because we've seen there can be lots of different statues. Yes. Right, if an angel statue was a muscly statue, would that I angel don't be think, stronger? I, no, I don't think the size of the angel has any kind of effect on its strength. I think you can have, you know, for hypothetical sake, a, a, a little baby angel statue. Mm. And, you know, just, again, total hypothetical. This isn't coming from anywhere, but a, a, an angel, let's say, the size of the Statue of Liberty, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, just not coming from anywhere. And yeah. I think they would be of, of equal, um, like, strength. But I you think. could, if it was a small one, you could boot it, couldn't you? Like, I mean, you can try. If you were wearing, like, some protective stuff. Oh, you, you can, can go it's, I mean, it's stone. Do you want to boot that? Yeah, but 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 then see your argument falls apart there because it is stone, yeah. But then a Statue of Liberty angel would be a lot more stone. In in the terms of, yeah. but I'm talking about its angels, like it's like okay. In terms of its like physical presence, strength, yes. Mm. Like what what that object is, yes. But in terms of its like its angel strength, like what it can do, then I see I see those as two different things. Like the the turning of the door. Is yeah. not is not nothing to do with the physical presence. I think it's more the the angel strength itself. If they, that makes they sense, they draw from a, like another strength kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. Like in a, I mean, in a video game when bullshit. you can equip an outfit, but then like you can change it to the hard the the other outfit stats. That oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so you can like you can take the the uh, you can just basically change how like a piece of armor looks. Yeah. So it so it has the drip you want, but the strength yeah. you need. You can you can disguise an ugly strong bit of armor, yeah, by taking the strength, but having it look like cool armor, like a plus ninety nine piece of armor, and it's just a little bikini top or something. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, this doesn't yeah. make any sense. But yeah. look at me deflecting stuff. Um, all right, mm. there we go. That's our definitive answer. There we go. We did it. We solved angel strength. I did. Um, I got five minutes. Um, the doctor I mean, can do something in five minutes, but Amy thinks it's nine. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, I like it. I, I, I wanted to say I like this because it's like, um, it, it's blink and you miss it kind of thing. Like, you, you pick up on it, yes, but like... I mean, it's, it, I very much figured it out from nine. Like, no. <laughs> as soon as she said nine, I was like, oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, and I get it becomes more apparent as it goes yeah. on. But like, I'm picturing, I always try and put myself in the perspective of like watching it for the first time. Yeah. Uh, no, I am talking about for the first time. Oh, okay. Well, then you're just clever. You know that fun Latin fact, word. Um, yes, I do know that Latin word. Uh, fun fact. First time I watched this episode, um, wh when it aired on broadcast, I was getting drunk. <laughs> and and nothing has changed. You're, <laughs> you're still on your evening brown now. Oh, yeah. Stop saying that. It sounds like I'm doing a poo before bed. <laughs> what were you getting drunk for? Were you with friends? I was with a friend, um, oh. and we was sort of pre-drinking because um, we was going to watch a, a band, a, a friend's band, perform at a local pub. 
Oh. And we were 16, and we was getting absolutely sourced. In a local pub, you were getting sourced at 16? It was the North, no one cared. <laughs> you can very much go into a local pub at 16 there in, like, in the town where I lived and be like... <laughs> <laughs> and like you can smoke in there and everything, man. Like they fucking like, yeah. Catch me having eight roast dinners to get eight beers. <laughs> or no, that would be four beers, technically. No. Half half pint with every roast dinner. No, you can have a you can have a you can have a pint of cider. And that's higher percentage as well. So they've got that skewed. There you are. Like cheat the system. Nathan was out here making snake bites. Do you know what that is? No. It's a half pint of lager and a half pint of cider mixed together. Um, and I, I, nice. I, I, I've had one. They're, mm. they're completely fine, but for some reason they're like enormously illegal to sell. Really? Yeah. Why? I, that didn't stop me. I was just like, if someone ordered yeah. it, I'd be like, yeah, all right, whatever, I don't care. Well, but, why is it illegal? I don't know. I guess because people can get rat assed on it, but like, so can drinking 10 pints. Aren't triple shots illegal as well? Like you got to pour yeah. like a double and a single, don't you? Yeah, you're not allowed to. Um, it's it's not in the same container. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be like legally, I can't do this, but here's a loophole. Yeah. Here's like two shots. You're not allowed like double Jaeger bomb type situations either, which makes yeah. sense because to be honest, Jaeger bombs themselves, yeah, just don't do them. <laughs> it's just an early heart attack. We have quite a bad drinking problem in this country. <laughs> We really do. Yeah. yeah. Like, we I wonder a... if there are people listening overseas just being like, "What? I don't even know what half that is. It's not talked about a lot, but we have a really unhealthy drinking culture. And yeah. we're all like, oh, we're British. <laughs> we just love going for a pint. I'm like, eh, maybe let's examine this for a yeah. little bit. <laughs> I like going for a Diet Coke myself. But yeah. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I like a drink, but... We were different you know. beasts at uni, weren't we? We were. We, were we got f- it all out at uni. God, we, yeah. I, I think we burned ourselves out at uni. <laughs> I, mate, I really did. I don't... Genuinely, I cannot remember the last time I was drunk. I can. It was during the recording of a podcast. <laughs> See, that's a, yeah. I listened back to that the other day because I was just like doing some chores around the house. I was like, I'm fancy listening to that. And I was. It got to the end, and you were so much drunker than I was. I was, yeah, I was so fucked because I think you stopped drinking like an hour in or something. I ran out. I, I like it. I, Not me. I was stocked up. <laughs> Too many evening browns for Nathan. Stop saying this. <laughs> I'm not doing a poo. <laughs> uh, I have never heard a forest referred to as an oxygen factory before. Yeah, me neither. No. I it's like pretty, it, though. It's pretty weird, isn't it? I do feel like... But you also, could... it's not a real forest. It's a robot forest. Yeah, yeah. A, a tree borg. The <laughs> tree borgs, yeah. <laughs> That's a, such a great fucking concept. It's so dumb, isn't it? It's so dumb. He opens the little, the little hatch and there's all these light. There's all, just all these little fucking LED strips. Just yeah. Going, <laughs> <laughs> it is. I've got lights like that on the back of my TV. Yeah. That I can change the colour of the wall behind the TV. Um, I, I did think it would be a fun, um, fun to get your take on whether... Our, this is specific to the UK, but I guess a lot of governments in a lot of places are stupid too. Yeah. Right. Do you think we could get the government to take eco concerns more seriously if we just stopped referring to forests as forests and started calling them oxygen factories? Like we <laughs> why, need why X would... amount of the budget so that we can maximize the efficiency of the oxygen factory. Why would that make the government take that more seriously? No. Oh yeah, they don't care if everyone dies, no. do they? <laughs> they don't give a fuck, no. <laughs> what if we said, alright, we need it to the oxygen surrounding Eton and Downing Street and everything here's, else? Here's what you do. What you do is you say that the um <laughs> the the England flag on the new on the new football kit is under threat. Um <laughs> unless <laughs> unless we Make these. I don't fucking know. I'm you just, to you just wanted. I know. I'm trying to be topical. <laughs> you already got me. You had me at England, kid. Yeah, you <laughs> fill in the rest. You know, <laughs> make your own joke. <laughs> fucking make your own. The summit there. <laughs> oh, we've done enough of these. Now you're with us. Um, <laughs> uh, a forest in a bottle on a spaceship in a maze. Have I impressed you yet, Amy Pond? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, that's not an answer. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad writing, I think, Nathan. No, it's good. It's no, good. this is bad writing. Seven is not an a, acceptable response to oh, a question. I see what he's doing. Yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah, doing a little thing. Cinemasins. And Kathleen Kennedy will be fired for this. <laughs> <outrage>. <laughs> 
Um, oh, is I, Kathleen no, I, Kennedy going to get blamed for Doctor Who now that it's Disney? Oh, almost certainly, yeah. Yeah, she'll probably get blamed somehow. Kathleen Kennedy ruined <laughs> Doctor Who. I have seen, like, those... Um, I, I I watched one the other day because I was I, much like today. I was in a seething mood about something I can't even remember. Oh, right, no. and I and I hate watch clicked on one of them stupid content farm rage bait morons. Videos. Why would you do that? I I don't know. I just wanted to be pissed off. <laughs> okay, uh, so I clicked on it, and and they got sidetracked, and it was uh, they they got sidetracked speaking about um you know Millie Gibson's line from the trailer where she goes oh Bridgerton. Yeah, oh, my Bridgerton. Yeah, yeah, in an accent I will not attempt because you'll make fun of me. I will, um, yeah. She sounds very much like a friend of ours. She really does, yeah. I, I think identical. I brought that to your attention. You do, I? I yeah. Like... You pointed it out and I was like, holy shit, yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, this so this guy just went on to say, and again, the most rage bait, to the point where I thought at one, at one point it might have been a parody. Mm. Uh, and they said, Bridgerton, Bridgerton is a show I have great issue with. I take enormous umbrage with its depictions of of things and i don't like it it's just a show that i genuinely think shouldn't be received the way it is received admittedly though i haven't seen any of it and then he just <laughs> moved on what and i was like what how what? can you how, how can you say it shouldn't it doesn't deserve to get the recognition i guess if you haven't watched it well he, he did retouch on it later on and it, it, he came back to it and obviously as with any period drama ever, oh is it because it's woke yeah, because, well, Nathan, everything's woke, but we need to yeah, get into the specifics. Course. Everything's woke. <laughs> no, it was it was because some roles have been race swapped, which is obviously the world's biggest, most pressing fucking concern. Cry me a fucking river, mate. Yeah, oh get a God. life. So yeah. I, I just want accuracy. I'm like, all right. No, you don't. Yeah. You're racist. Is what <laughs> yeah, you're fucking yeah, saying. Sure. <laughs> what What's happening is you're just racist. Okay. You can fucking say it's accuracy, but it's not. It's racism. Pure yeah. and fucking simple. Oh. I'm so fucking sick of it. Oh my god. Now you're getting me in a mood. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Angel Bob uh, is back, and uh, the the Doctor finally fucking clocks what's going on. Um, when uh, Amy says another number, I can't remember which one, but he's like, "Hey, what are you done to my friend? You little cunt." <laughs> <laughs> and then Angel Bob is like, "There's something in her eye." We're fucking, we're fucking, we're in your brain, so. <laughs> Bob's like, lol. Bob, <laughs> lol. L on you, doctor, he says. I do like the doctor's, I got him to say comfy chairs. We don't, <laughs> the angels have no need for comfy chairs, so. <laughs> That's quite fun. Yeah, I do like that. I, um, <coughs> but yeah, Amy insists there's nothing wrong. In fact, she says she's five. Oh. <laughs> You've been caught. You've um, caught in a web of her own. I, I really things. like Karen Gillan's performance in this bit because it, it, you genuinely get the sense that she is trying to say something else. Mm, yeah. And it's like, you know, like when you have to consider that an actor has to learn their lines and say yeah. this, but then also be like, I didn't mean to say that. But like, I mean, that's acting. But like, it's, it's what true. I'm saying is yeah. it's, it's she does a really good job. Like she's it, it feels like she has been hijacked. Yeah. And she's, yeah. she's doing a good job conveying that. Yeah. Side note. Did you watch Confidential? Um, will you get cross if I say yes? No, I won't. Then yes, I did. Uh, did you actually? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I, no, generally it wasn't like doing a, a thing. Um, I just because I also watched it. I just thought it was funny how pretty much the entire confidential episode was just one big circle jerk for Stephen Moffat. <laughs> yeah, <he> was, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the whole thing was just like oh look how great Stephen look at all these great episodes that he wrote yeah. let's, all t let's talk about this for the entire <laughs> fucking 45 minutes and then we'll check back in on the fucking kissing scene later on yeah that, that's the of like of all the bits you want to get an insight into it's yeah. like oh yeah the bit that was set in a fucking bedroom that's like yeah. not impressive <laughs> yeah yeah not my favourite episode of Confidential if I'm being honest it was, yeah. it was a, just a bit too Oh, he's good, isn't he? It was and like I think so too, but come on, like, this seems a bit excessive. <laughs> yeah, it did get a little bit like I paused it halfway through just to like, and I was I was thinking to myself at some point they'll get back on the episode, and <laughs> no. then they were like, anyway, let's like check back in with this thing that's going on, and they did three seconds on the episode, and then they were like, this is similar to the idiot's lantern, and I was like, for fucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear lord, but yeah, idiot's lantern was that. Moffat? No, no, it wasn't. I wasn't going to mention it. But Which no, was the one I'm thinking of? I'm uh, thinking of the um, clockwork. The... Are you thinking of um, the gun in the fireplace? No, Empty I was child. I, actually the one in my head was the one where the doctor shouts, "Everybody lives." Which one's that? Which and, one's uh, that one? Doctor Fox. 
the Dr. Fox. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> How could I forget? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, anyway, Angel Bob is um, he's having a crease. They all, the angels know something that the Doctor doesn't. What's that? Oh, well, we don't find out yet. Do you want to find out? Do you want me to tell you? What do they know? They know about the, the crack, all the shenanigans going on. They don't know about the crack, do they? They do. They said, well, my note says, Bob knows something we don't know. The angels are cracking up and they're having a laugh at him. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Do you like the angels laughing, having a little wheezing fit? I do like the angels laughing. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's good yeah. sound design, to be fair. Sounds scary. Yeah, it's good stuff. Anyway. Anyway, Amy's cutting down. <laughs> Amy is, yeah. Seems a bit slow for them to figure it out. Like, again, I figured it out at nine. Like, mm. she said ten and then she said nine. Like, it's not hard. I, f- I feel like I can excuse it because there's so much other stuff going on. I mean, yeah, that's fair. I'm not <laughs> I'm not in a life or death situation. I'm just yeah. sat on my couch, you know, eating an Easter egg and watching fucking Doctor Who. So, like... yeah. It is a little bit different for me. I guess I do have it easy, but still, come on, you know. <laughs> Someone notice. Yeah, well, I, I feel like the doctor has noticed, but he's like, "If this is a countdown, yeah. I've got a bit of time." I think, yeah, I think maybe he's like, I, just, "I don't have time to deal with this right now." I, I, she's on nine. I got some time. I got a bit of leeway. Yeah. I can probably keep this going until like four or five or something. You know, yeah. I'll check in at around the four <laughs> mark or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. All right, I that's enough that. shit from you, Bob. All right. Yes. Now, now I've run out of time. You tell me what the fuck's happening here. Yeah. Uh, so the crack comes back. Was you expecting to see the crack this early on? Uh, well, not really early on, isn't it? Like halfway through the season. No, no, no. Well, yeah. and also we've seen the crack in every episode bar last week's one. Yeah, right? we, yeah, but we've seen the crack as like a little tease at the end. Now it's a full in the story plot element. Okay. You know? Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Um, I, no, I like it. I like it that it's like, and it's not halfway. There's 13 episodes. This is episode five. That's not halfway. Oh yeah, why do I think there was ten? Because you're bad at maths. <laughs> it could be right, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, I do like that it it, it comes back, and I, I I'm not necessarily surprised because it's. I was surprised. I I like that it's. Oh, how, I was also how, drunk, so I don't know. How much can we say? How like? You can't say too much. Yeah, that's this is the thing. I like that it's clearly setting up something different, uh-huh. a very different type of threat. Yeah, that's more in more akin to a natural disaster than an actual alien threat. Yeah, which I quite like. Um, we can we can say what the doctor thinks it is because he he does he does figure out in this episode. I I meant more how present is it in the rest of the season. It's kind oh, of... it's it's still he says it at the end of the episode. You know, it's still out mm. there. Well, there you go. It up. It's still out there. <laughs> Spoiler alert. No, I I like it. I like its inclusion. I like that it. It does tie I think into the plot. I think it's a good inclusion. Yeah. I think it's good. We get that clip again. Yes. Two parts of space and time that should never have touched, pressed together. I wrote, I wrote it down with three exclamation marks. I was like, Nathan, <laughs> warn me of this. <laughs> I did. Get ready. The angels grab the doctor's jacket, Nathan. They do. They steal it from him. They mm. steal his tweed. He just got that. He stole it from a hospital. <laughs> you got spares, do you reckon? <laughs> Apparently. Because <laughs> he just leaves it. So... <laughs> Yeah, I guess a... that flies into the fucking crack and is erased from time. But oh, it does, yeah, yeah. Maybe but... he goes back in time to like five minutes before he was sorting out the Prisoner Zero stuff and just no, he it. no, he gets it from the same shop. Ten got his second blue suit. Okay. Oh yeah. The don't the... fucking worry about it shop. Okay? <laughs> the plot shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what does the Doctor think that the crack is? Oh uh, well, this isn't. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, he say, yeah, because he says he, he found a crack in the wall. Told them it was the end of the universe. Then Amy asks, "What was it?" And he says, "The end of the universe," which is that's a very Moffat line. I feel like <laughs> it's um, it's becoming a bit of a pattern. This kind of setup and 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 joke, isn't it? Like uh, sometimes there's that clip from Tintin, um, which because it was written by Stephen Moffat, which does the rounds and it's that uh, it does the rounds on Twitter and it's that clip where he's like. Uh, we've got good news and bad news. What's the good news? We've got one bullet. What's the... Oh, wait, sorry. We've got good news and bad news. We've got one bullet. What's the... Oh, fuck. I did it wrong again. <laughs> we've, you can see where it's going. We've got good news and bad news. What's the bad news? We've got one bullet. What's the good news? We've got one bullet. Like, that's a very Moffat line, isn't it? He likes a little... 
Yeah. It likes a little switch up of the stakes, yeah. I think it's good, though. I mean, you know, you can, like, make fun of him for it, but if it works, it works. It is absolutely one of them kind of cheap writing tricks that will get me every time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a cheap trick, but if it works, hey. It's, it's, it's like, like it that. Works. It's like that. There's no way I'm doing cut to them doing yeah. something. Yeah. It, 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 every single time, it's like, oh, yeah, that's good yeah. stuff. It's cheap, but... Boy, if it isn't good. No. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them things that just anyone will win me over by putting something like that in it. Guaranteed hit every time. Indeed. Um, well, not every time, but... Most times. Most times, yeah. I it's... feel like the thing also has to be good. I feel like you have to be bought into the thing you're watching. Yeah. All right, yeah. Because yeah. if, think like, if, you, if, like, if it happened in, like, I don't know, like, fucking... The Flash or something. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. There's no way I'm running. <laughs> Cast him running. There, then he's running. Like, whoa. Okay, whoa. Well there done, he Andy goes. Muschietti or whatever your name is. Um, you think it's akin to, like, it's the same kind of quality and caliber of as a reoccurring joke of, like, someone falling in boobs, would you say? <laughs> Fuck off. No. <laughs> no. Another, another no. staple of Nathan's <laughs> comedy. What about boobs falling on a person? Oh, that. That's like, just a revert. No, that's cheap. That's tacky. <laughs> River. That's what happened with River and the Doctor. I don't like it. <laughs> it wasn't really boobs. Though. They wasn't like, oh, he's got boobs in his face. No. Like, the confidential was more just she kept kneeing him in the balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. Uh, the, you get a little angel in Amy's pupil, you see. I do. I like this. It's good. Mm, it is is cool. it CG? Is it a contact? I think it's probably CG. But it looks good. It's almost certainly CG, yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't have got that fucking contact made. Why would they? Way too specific. Yeah. <laughs> and they've only got the one? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's just a drawer at the BBC with a second one. <laughs> like, we'll we'll use this one. They, they're they on a shoestring budget, right? They need to stretch it. They're not on a shoestring budget. No, but they're not era. remaking this contact lens, are they? No, nah, that's fair. They that's need fair. it. Oh uh, yeah, I think it looks good. It's effective. It does yeah. look good. I mean, it's the, they keep saying it's the the eyes are the window to the soul, aren't they? So like, it yeah. makes sense. The angel, no, the, the eyes are not the window; they're the door. Lawrence. Ah, the door. What's the window? Yes. The nostrils. <laughs> there is no window. <laughs> okay. Forget about the window. Okay. All right. Uh, Amy asks, "What's wrong with her?" And the, the doctor tells her she's dying. <laughs> so, so River's like, Doctor! And he's like, oh, yes, you're right. If we lie to her, she'll get better. <laughs> Which I thought was very fun. I, he's got no what, time for bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> what I'm really enjoying about this episode specifically is it shows you <clears throat> this doctor under pressure. Yeah. And it's, yeah. And it's just like, fucking, what you, I've got no time to spin tails. Yeah. Like, I'm figuring out how to save the universe, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Side note, uh, quick suit talk. What do you think of the uh, the jacketless look? Just the shirt and the, uh, the braces and the tie. I think it works here, because it's very... Mm. The Doctor's very scatterbrained everywhere. I like his cuffs. He's got, like, these mm. stripy little cuffs going on, which I enjoy. It's it's a good look, but it's it does feel incomplete. I'm so used to seeing... It's like there's one instance where Matt Smith has done up the blazer. Mm. in an episode that hasn't come up yet and it's yeah. just like jacketless feels wrong blazer done up feels wrong it's such a specific mm. unique look that i'm like while i appreciate it it's not finished i feel like again it would look better with a blue shirt and um the blue bow tie yeah and braces i'm just i just don't like this little salmon red thing going it's on. a bit it pops a bit too much which seems strange to say right like it draws I don't know attention. if it pops enough. I don't know if it pops enough. Because the thing I like about the blue is it pops. It's like, ooh, yes, look at me. Yeah, but it makes his eyes look nice, doesn't it? It makes his eyes look pretty. It's beautiful. Beautiful blue. We love a bit of beautiful blue. No. Beautiful blue TARDIS. Beautiful blue bow tie. Beautiful blue braces. Okay. Beautiful blue suit. No! <laughs> I was willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. God damn it. Um, yeah. Um, what's going on next? Uh, Lawrence, I'll tell you what's going on. Sick. Oh, I can tell you if you want. Lawrence, I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> um, Bob tells us that they're making Amy count to make her afraid uh, for their own fun and amusement. So I wrote, dick move. Yeah, shut up, Bob. <laughs> Bit mean, really. Stop that. <laughs> it's a proper... i tell you what, though. I like it. Uh, this this is, I think, one of the reasons why it is important to have a figure like uh, Angel Bob to speak and to communicate because... Whilst the angels are really well established in Blink, there is this, there's this kind of element to it where you just 
get the sense that they're out to survive. This is just their way of life. And it's not necessarily malicious or cruel. It's just this is the food chain. Well, I feel like it's a bit of a retcon because even in Blink, like the doctor, like he says, like, it's not their fault. They're not being cruel. Like, it's just like they the only species in the universe to make you live to death. Like, they're just being nice, you know? Mm. And here it's like, no, we're evil and we're laughing at you and we're we're gonna we're gonna fucking infect your mind and and ha 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 you know? it, it is a bit that, but then like <laughs> but it does it's a good change. I like that it yeah. makes them more malicious. Like it imagine, makes them more sinister, definitely. Yeah, it feels like more of a threat. Imagine the very unlikely circumstance where you get caught between two weeping angels and mm. Sod's Law. These are the angels that will break your neck rather than send you back to a nice time period yeah. so that you can, I don't know, go to the dance or whatever <laughs> whatever people did in the 40s or something. So you can get sent to Hull and live there for the rest of your life. Yeah. What a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> well, <is> that... <laughs> it's not that bad. I live in Hull. It's quite nice. They're, um, they, they get zapped back to like <clears throat> 1941 and you're like, this is a great time. <laughs> I'm just a young man. Nothing oh, no. could go wrong. <laughs> 41 would probably be too late. Um, like, most people would already be gone. Oh, do you re- it started in 41, right? <laughs> no, not here. No. America, yeah. Not here. 39 here. 39. And then yeah, it ended nine, 44? Ended 44, yeah. 39. Lawrence does not know history. I just, I'm, I swear I got taught 41. 41, it started in 41. The US got involved in 41, I believe. But, yeah, but yeah. that's when it matters, doesn't it? No. That's when it's the big war. <laughs> yeah, in, to Americans, yes. Because, like, hey, we saved your ass in fucking <laughs> World War Two. Okay. Yeah. Sure thing. And then proceeded to use that power to ruin the rest of the yeah. world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Lawrence. <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, no. I mean, a little bit. That's but, just the fact. We, we've also ruined the world. We've we've ruined. I mean, we ruined the world like centuries and centuries ago. We colonized everywhere. So yeah, like, we were first. Stop copying us. If you think about it, everything that happens, everything that America does is basically our fault anyway. Because like we were like, yeah, we set hey, them we'll, on a path. Yeah, we'll like we'll take that. <laughs> we'll have that for ourselves. I reckon. You should um, you should watch Hamilton. I think you'd like it. Um. <laughs> oh god. Uh, anyway, um. What's going on? Yeah, Amy has to close her eyes. She's yeah, used up she her does. countdown. Karen's doing some good stuff here. I like mm. it. She's good at acting. I reckon she should do it full time. <laughs> yeah, it'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, her vitals uh, start to normalise because the angel has no escape. I um, do think it's very funny. <laughs> like In this scene, they're like, oh no, what should we do? What should we do? She's going to die quick. Uh, I don't know. Uh, R- Amy, close your eyes. Okay. And then, like, it's, like, problem solved. And then River's like, oh, Doctor, you're a genius. You did it. Well done. You're really cool. Oh, you saved the day again. Like, you just told her to close her eyes. Let's all calm down for a second. I, right? I I, like this, and I think this comes up a lot uh, with the Moff's writing. All right, That's just mm. a thing, by the way, and I'm going to do that until. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I think it comes up a lot, which is, I, I've, I'm going to call it metaphor science. Okay. Which is where the doctor says something to the effect of like he you, he establishes a science by explaining it with a metaphor. Yes. Like for example, the the angels can find their way out of you because the the eye is the door to the soul or something. Yeah. Right? And the doctor's like, so if you shut your eyes, it's problem go away, and it's like. I understand the logic of that, but I feel like there's more things at play. I feel like yeah, this feel like... only works and solves the problem if everyone is on board with your metaphor. Yeah, I feel like the problem itself is a little bit more intricate. Yeah, than that and there's and maybe if you just shut off your visual cortex, then I don't know if that shuts off your entire brain activity. Exactly. But, yeah. <laughs> you know. But uh, I'm willing to buy into the dumb Doctor Who logic. Yeah, though. it's look, it's it, it again. Is... It's, you've got to be on board with it. Yeah. You've got to be on board with what you're watching, otherwise it falls apart. Really, it, and it, it could fall apart a little still. But yeah, I look. We're not quite there yet, but there are certain episodes. There's, there's certain points of this episode where I'm like, you know, you're stretching. 
He's stretching credulity just a little bit too much. Ooh, for me a little sizzle. We'll, little sizzle. We'll see. We'll get to it. Um, all right, then. So everyone's off. Uh, well, Doctor and Father Octavian and River are off to the, the primary flight deck, uh, leaving Amy with some of the beautiful boys in... Uh, I was going to say blue. They're not boys in blue. They're the soldier boys. They're men of the cloth, Nathan. Show some respect. <laughs> oh, sorry. Men of the cloth. Pedro and his boys. Um, the doctor says if anything happens to Amy, he'll hold them all personally responsible twice. Does he? Yeah. I think it's a good line. I like that. Why is that good? I don't know. I just think it's... <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. They all get a square punch in the face and then, then he does it again. That's the what doctor's like not punching anyone in the face, apart from Bracewell, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a clean uppercut to the Just tool. a clean uppercut to that little bomb of a man. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, the, the Doctor River and Octavian, they fuck off, but then the Doctor comes back and to comfort Amy a little, although I don't know if you noticed, Lawrence, <laughs> but there's actually a little mistake in this scene. Uh, the Doctor <laughs> is wearing his, his jacket again. I don't know if you noticed. This... How foolish of them. I know. I can't believe that under such kind of... <sighs> Kathleen Kennedy's going to lose her job Ka- over this I, one. She deserves it for this <laughs> Yeah, one, I know. My God. What a, what a horrible mistake. Continuity anyway, let's... errors in a show of this magnitude. Yeah. Anyway, let's never think about that scene again. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do like them before... The doctor comes back and there's the there's people the... weren't mad about that back in the day. By the way, people were like, "Oh, he's still wearing his jacket. This is ridiculous." But that's you almost want that to be the case, right? So that I mean, you kind can, of. You yeah. can just buy so your you time feel, and be like, hmm. so you can feel vindicated. Not that there's any old double meaning going on here. It's just a mistake. Yeah, no, it's just a continuity error. But when people yeah. noticed it, yeah, it was it was one of them. Anyway, um, anyway, we'll see. I, I do <laughs> I like mean, that we before won't. the continuity error. There is it takes a moment to get all fairy tale again. Yeah, yes. it's it's a little bit of like, I'll you know the doctor says I'll I'll come back and Amy goes you always say that and the music gets all nice and twinkly mm. and it's 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 that nice moment where she puts her full faith into him mm. and it's because it, like the her, her life has been in his hands before yeah but it's it feels very personal this time now I think I also like how oh. <laughs> No, well, 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 you like the well, continuity I, error. Yes, I like the continuity <laughs> error, and I nothing more. Okay, <laughs> let's okay. move on. Maybe we'll revisit that scene another time, but probably not. Um, and I can talk more about it then. But yeah. again, probably not. So anyway, well, we would on. never probably speak about it. Yeah. So yeah, probably not. So don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, what happens? Do you like the? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. You're just having a little chuckle to yourself just, there. I just like, I really like the switch in like, it's good character writing because River is is kind of making excuses for why Father Octavian is breathing down her neck the whole episode. Yeah. And then the second the Doctor's like, gets a little bit uppity about it, <clears throat> Ian Glenn turns around and he's like, let's get one thing fucking straight. She's a murderer <laughs> and I'm sick of this. <laughs> right? like, he doesn't tell her that she's a murderer yet. Oh no, but, but like... But he does tell her she's in prison. She's in storm cage. Yeah, because he, he's yeah. sick of her. She, so he's sick of her flirting around and yeah. and making jovial of this situation. And he's like, although I think earlier he said like, if I lose any more men, I'll I'll fucking tell him. I'll fucking tell him what's mm. going on. And she's like, yeah, all right, fair enough. But he didn't lose any men yet, and he and he broke that promise. So he just felt like being a dick. <laughs> Not a man of the cloth when it matters, is he? <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the, that's a sin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thou shalt not tell anyone that she's from prison. Yeah. <laughs> or shoot them, things, right? I guess. Yeah. No, they can shoot. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. That's not a sin. Um, the angels, meanwhile, are using the gaps in the lighting, the fluctuating lights, um, to, oh. kind of, to kind of weave their hands into those tree borg holes. Yeah, they're shutting off the lights. Hey, mm. who turned out the lights? They're, they're, the angels. They're slowly ripping LED strips, and it's, <laughs> yes. uh, it's effective. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I quite like that. It's it's the I like the idea that the angels are like some of them are drawing focus from different areas, so that it's it's tactical. 
I'll tell you what's good. Occasionally, you'll just get, like, a shot of, like, an angel just poking out from, like, behind a tree. And it's pretty fucking creepy. Mm. Just, like, one static shot of an angel just being like, I'm over here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> Oogly boogly. <laughs> Oogly boogly. Hide and seek with angels, you know? It's spooky stuff. It is, it's, this whole episode is a big game of Grandma's Whispers, always, isn't it? Or like what the fuck is Grandma's Whispers? What's that game where you've got some guy turned around? Uh, and then uh, the you have wolf to... one. The wolf? Maybe. But you have to like creep towards them and if what's, they... Yeah, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? That's what we called it. Yeah, what's Grandma's Whispers then? I don't know. Is it a more PC version of the Level Whispers game, which the Americans call Telephone? I don't even know if it's bad to say it. Chinese Whispers. Oh, cancelled. <laughs> It's just one of those things. Like I was in China once, and then I actually, and I was talking to someone, and I used the phrase, you know, it's like Chinese whispers, and then I just automatically thought to myself, oh, is that okay? Like, <laughs> I didn't even think about it until the words came out of my mouth, and then I was like, oh. Shit, and, they, can, and they went, how dare you? <laughs> they didn't even notice. They were just like, yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> you know? It's exactly like that. They couldn't speak yeah. English. They were like, <laughs> no, they could. Oh, okay. <laughs> They would just approach as a random man in China and it's like, it's like Chinese whispers, what do you reckon? <laughs> With no context as well, just, just coming out to someone and going, yeah, it's like Chinese whispers, isn't it? It's like, you know Smith and Jones when he walks saying? up to Martha and takes the tire? Uh, yeah. Like so. Yeah, that was me in China. <laughs> we always bring it back to Doctor Who. And that's, that's and that's why you keep it, you keep dialing in. <laughs> Still got dialing them. in? <laughs> They're dialing in? They got a phone in each week to hear this? <laughs> What an odd delivery method. <laughs> well, look, I'll tell you what, it's school. unique though, isn't it? It is, yeah. It keeps us fresh. Um, oh, great. Um, so we find out that the cracks themselves, they come from a big old explosion. They do. Big explosion, big enough to rip the skin of the universe. Um, and that explosion itself happens on 26th of the 6th, 2010, a.k.a. Amy's time. That is proper sod's law, isn't it? It's the date of the finale. Well, the original day of the finale, anyway. Well, the air date. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. Um, oh, that is convenient that it's lined up with the Doctor Who finale release. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Imagine if they filmed all this and then Doctor Who mm. got pushed just on the schedule. They could probably just change it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just, just a number on the screen. Isn't oh, it? yeah, they very deliberately are like, this date. <laughs> yeah, and for those of us who can't read the base code of the universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or numbers, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Um, big old blaster white light happens. The crack is back, Lawrence. Yep. It's a big old crack. It's in the trees. It's shining through. And everyone's like, oh, the angels are gone. Fucked off, I reckon. This, see, this is something that I mm -hmm. actually was hoping Confidential would show me. How did they achieve the <laughs> Too lighting? Too bad. we got to talk more about yeah. the girl in the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> what I quite enjoyed was that Matt Smith has got some talking heads in Confidential about episodes of Doctor Who that he has never once watched. And no, I think he's watched them. I don't think at this point he's watched them. I think he would have. He did either done research for playing Doctor Who, I think. Didn't hasn't he said? Isn't he like quite well known for being like I didn't watch this show, I was not He didn't he didn't watch it before he was cast, yeah, he said that. But I think he would have gone back and at least some of the episodes. Probably he probably would have watched all of Moffat's episodes considering he's writing the fucking series. That doesn't that that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know, just when Matt Smith is like, yeah, and that, that episode with the horse is like <laughs> you get the sense that he's watched it on iPlayer quickly and then gone, Oh yeah, there's a horse in it. I'll say there's I don't a know horse. if iPlayer existed then. Well then he's Oh maybe it did. It's only 2010. Yeah, I think of it as long as time ago. The fucking the trailer maker was 2008. Will you fucking shut up about the trailer maker? <laughs> My God. If they can bring that to our screens in 2008, two years prior, I might The add. trailer maker and iPlayer are two very different beasts, okay? Do they both play media at your command? Shut the fuck up. Move on. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I, I like the... I wanted to know how they did the blast of white light. Probably like, got a big light. Yeah, but that's a fucking, that's a fucking massive light. Probably got a lot of lights. They probably got a lot of lights and then turned it brighter in yeah. post, yeah. But yeah, it's cool. Probably. I think it, it looks really good visually. It does. It does look good. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah. And um, I like how... I don't know. What's going on? 
Um, yeah, so the, the big light scares the angels away. Uh, it seems like they're running from the crack, and then two of the soldiers go to investigate it. They're like, hey, we should probably check that out. That's a smart thing to do. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't, what, what soldiers checked it out? Doesn't matter. Just two of them. There's only one. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor who? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. Anyway, we cut back to the doctor, and he's like trying to, he's doing that thing again where his brain works like a million miles a minute, and like yeah. people are talking to him, trying to like fucking figure out how they're going to survive. And he's just doing like calculations and talking to himself. And he's like, How is a duck pond a duck pond if there aren't any ducks? <laughs> and she didn't recognize the Daleks, and he's trying to figure out exactly what's going on with this crack, what it does, and he kind of pieces it together slowly through his mind. He's, he's just like stood there doing the, these little mental fucking equations in his mind and stuff which is which is quite fun to it's, enjoy i mean it shows our hypocrisy does it not what do you mean when the doctor is performing maths uh in his head at quick speed if you're getting at something i'm not written, up. written by the moth what do you mean gesturing maths doing some puzzles in his head written by Stephen moffat Am I missing something? Sherlock, Mind Palace. Oh, no, they're entirely different. <laughs> the whole concept of a Mind Palace itself is what the dumb thing is, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. I like that everyone fair, that's goes not even, That's not even fucking Stephen Moffat. That's Arthur Conan Doyle. <laughs> but I, Stephen Moffat, like, fucking, like, took it to, like, the next level, but yeah. still. Sherlock signs his equations with his initials in the air. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good how the Doctor kind of works it all out. Um, and it's a scary concept. The the concept of, like, time being erased and rewritten. And it's like... Yeah. I don't know. It, it I quite like the concept that it it makes time travel... Not, not strictly speaking time travel, but time is the enemy. Time has consequences. Yeah. And it's, he's good with time. He said it earlier in the episode, which I enjoy. Um, but, hey, he's, she's a cruel bitch. <laughs> When there's cracks in the universe, that cruel bitch is going to have consequences. You know, mm. When it's not yeah. being respected. Maybe. Um, anyway, two of the soldiers are fucked off, but they've already been forgotten about. So then Pedro goes and he's like, I'm going to go. They're, they're, they're patient like, with this scene. It takes a while for them to drop that the soldiers are gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite good, mm. I think. I quite like the way that they're like, Pedro, you go have a look. And then they're like, what about the others? He's just like, what others? What are you on about? I, it was never. It's just been the three of us this whole time. Yeah, you know? and then it just slowly gets whittled down. And he's like, yeah. I, I know what was. I mean, the worst thing is the soldier's not even wrong because <laughs> when he's like, there's literally no one else. Well, I mean, here. he literally is wrong. No, he is wrong, but he doesn't know that he's wrong because in his <laughs> no. life, in yeah, in, in the way he's thinking about it, yeah. he's totally right. Yeah, but like, he's not even just the way he's thinking about it. The way he knows it to be fact. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is what true. I'm saying. It's a spooky old concept. It kind yeah. of fucks with your head a little bit. It's good. It's good stuff. Um, but yeah, what what's going on then? The the, the doctor. Oh, Ian Glenn gets chokeholded. Uh, before that, the doctor's saying fucking uh, giant cyber king walks over Victorian London. No one remembers. I wish I didn't remember. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the, right. I respect trying. But this is just Doctor Who, isn't it? Like, well, no. Well, yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. But I, I like it. You know, I like having reasons for these things. You can't blame them for trying to work this in. No, but then rather than just going, I'll... shut up, don't think about it. You know. But I like not thinking about it in Doctor Who. I mean, that's your prerogative. That's between <laughs> you and your god. All right. <laughs> Every now and again, do they? Ha they're going to have to bring back this crack as well, because like since 2010, I'm sure there's been some contradictions. Oh no, there definitely has, and yeah. they just they just go shut up, don't think about it. You know? <laughs> That's your prerogative. Yeah, there is one scene which always makes me laugh, which comes up later, and it's it's very much just shut up and don't think about it. But what's that one? Are we there? We'll get there. Okay, yeah, series ten. It's very fun. Oh, oh, I thought you meant in this episode. No, 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 we won't get there for a while. Okay, I'll have forgotten. Um, <laughs> all right, <clears throat> can we talk about Ian Glenn getting chokeholded? Oh, okay, fine. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, so he tells the Doctor some sizzle, some plot sizzle for us. Yeah. Uh, he warns him that River was in prison for killing a man, a good man, in fact. Yeah, one of the best, apparently. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. 
Is it? And we got we got to tread on some eggshells here. Is it only because we know some details? We know most of the details. We know more of Rev's story. Yeah. Than what has been unfolded here. Or is it not written in this way that is? Because it feels like I would get this in 2010. It's. I feel like it's very much implying that it's the Doctor, if yeah. that's what you're asking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because it is. They say, I think the fact that they say very clearly a good man and the fact that later on River says like the best man or something like that, like yeah. the, the best man she ever known or something. I think they're very clearly like trying to make it go, when does she kill the Doctor? What? So like, it's intentional sizzle. Kind of yeah, thing. it's definitely intentional sizzle, yeah. I feel like. Because yeah. otherwise, right, it's not like, and we're not going to say one way or the other, but it's a lot to infer. It is a lot to infer. Especially yeah. when you're still trying to play coy. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but yeah. But no, that's I, why it's good. That's why I think it's good, because, you know, like, the last time we saw River, they were like, oh, maybe she's his wife. And now they're like, no, maybe she kills him. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, that's different. But interesting. <laughs> maybe maybe the Time Lord lore is the second that the Doctor dies. He's like, and my name is this. <laughs> That's how she knows. Maybe, yeah. Well, he says there's only one time he could. Yeah, maybe. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Ian Glenn made me cry in this episode. Really? I think his... Not ex- me. I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> You're like, fuck him. I don't give a fuck shit. Fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I I like him. I, I, I think that there's there's this... It's a nice moment of when he's kind of like, <clears throat> he just accepts it immediately. The angel gets him in a chokehold and he stands there and he tells the doctor, like, think about this. Think it through. I'm done. There is literally no point in this happening. But then he says this lovely kind of beautiful sentiment about how he, he'll he die knowing that his courage didn't fail him at the end. Mm-hmm. And I just, yeah. I don't know. I just think that's really, that's really nice. And the, the whole moment of like, the doctor tearing up saying he wishes he'd known him better i think that's a lovely moment i do like that moment i do like the doctor you know with tears in his eyes saying i wish i'd known you better about this bloke he's been pretty ambivalent towards for most of the story and he's been pretty hostile towards really for most of the story um yeah it it isn't like a nice kind of moment of like comeuppance and and kind of like redemption i guess but um yeah i'm not a huge fan of the character so i'm not like sad no i mean it's not meant to be like a. <laughs> no one's like Father Octavian. Hell yeah! <laughs> no, I'm not no making one's got fan a fans. Oct- yeah, no one's got a Father Octavian poster on their wall. <laughs> I've got the action figure, but that's besides the point. <laughs> okay. um, but no, I I like the. I just think it's 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 a nice moment. You do get that kind of. It's the only time the Doctor really slows down. Yes. And it's it's okay. We'll move on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> God, I know your cadence. Um, <laughs> right, the doctor. So the, anyway, he gets fucking. Does he? Do you reckon he gets zapped or he gets necked out? He gets choked out. Um, it probably the angels aren't really zapping this episode, are they? Then yeah. we're just fucking straight up killing. We're fuming at this point. We're just snapping. Yeah, necks. we're yeah. just snapping necks, boys. Yeah. R.I.P. Um, but he would have probably got sucked into the light anyway. Uh, eventually. Anyway. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's the yeah. reason why no one ever mentions Father Octavian again. There we go. There yeah. we go. Um, so the the final soldier that was with Amy also got zapped into the light. He's like, I'm going to go have a look. And then he's like, I'm quite close to it. I'm fine, see? Oh, I'm dead. Is there a joke about all these men of the cloth walking into the light here? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I think there's... I don't know. It feels like there could be something, but also maybe entirely coincidental. Walking into the light isn't exclusively religious, though, really. No, I guess not. Yeah. But yeah, maybe there's something there. Just a little joke. Yeah, little joke. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Uh, <laughs> have that on me. <laughs> um, all right, so Amy, this is this is where some good stuff gets going, I think. I think uh, Amy, the fact that Amy, you know, the doctor gets in touch with her and he tells her what's going on. He tells her he made a mistake. He shouldn't have left her there. She needs to make her way to the, to the flight deck. Yeah. Uh, only thing is, she can't open her eyes. And also, she's surrounded by angels. <laughs> and also she has to walk like she can see and just pretend <laughs> you know she can is just a normal functioning human being so 
Bit of an easy task, I reckon. Shouldn't be too difficult at all. Yeah, Amy, Amy's having a rough day. <laughs> she is, mate. She's in the middle of becoming an angel, and then the I doctors... just give up if I'm on. If I heard all <laughs> that, I'd be like, "Just fucking take me, boys." <laughs> like, I'd actually... I ain't doing all that. There's no point. Yeah, I'd be like, "Can you actually reset the uh, the little doohickey to tell me to play hot or cold when I'm near the light?" I'd rather <laughs> just walk into that and be done with it. Yeah, yeah. Quicker. Um, I. I, I both like this and don't like this. Okay. Because I, I like the stakes. What's are not very to high. like? I, I just think it gets a little bit fucking lazy with the angels. What, why? In the. It, it, do, you not, do you not like that they start moving? No, I, 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 the, the movement I can live with. It's not as. When I couldn't remember it, I was expecting it in this episode. Mm. Um. And I was expecting it to be worse, but it's kind of it has that stone slow movement. It kind of makes that as they yeah. as they spin. I don't. I, that's all fine with me. I don't care about that stuff. It's quite creepy. I like it. It is creepy, and it, it, it adds mm-hmm. to their malice. It's a net positive rather than mm-hmm. a negative. I think. But like, yeah, the thing that I'm not too over the moon with is it feels a bit like the angels have a genetic response to shut down. It's in their biology. It's mm-hmm. not something that they assess. Yeah, they don't. They don't have an opinion over it. Yeah. And that's been like pretty nailed home. Yeah. You've just got to be looking at it. The second you're not, it's unlocked. It's actually not a weeping angel when it's being observed. Yeah. So the thing for me is it does feel a little bit I don't know. The, you're saying it contradicts angel law. Yeah, but I, I also don't care about that necessarily. I don't care about like you change sounds the like law, whatever. Your, no, no, no. Change like the law, do whatever. Entire, I don't okay. give a fuck. Okay. But my my thing about it is kind of it just it it's it's not like a good it doesn't it kind of undermines it. It makes them less scary. I don't think so. I think the reason it works is because this whole episode the angels are underpowered. They're they're not at full strength. They are still trying to get back to their full form. That's the reason they're not zapping people back in time, you yeah. know. They don't have the ability to do that. They don't have enough time energy or whatever the fuck they feed on. Yeah. And that's that's the, that's the <laughs> sometimes why time was... energy, sometimes radiation from a ship or something. <laughs> well, no, it, it is time energy because that's that's like the reason they were going after the crack because it's like oh big fucking time event that'll fucking feed us for centuries. But then they're like yeah. oh no, this is actually bad for us. We 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 shouldn't have this. Like you know, it's too much so, of a good thing. Yeah, so that that's the reason it works for me is because they're they're not at full strength, which mm. is why like you why Amy has to walk like she can say she has to fool the angels basically, you know, because normally they'd be like, oh, she can't say, let's fucking get her, boys, but yeah. like they're they're not registering that because they're not fucking de facto. Is it a bit weird that they're like they're just saying this out loud around all the angels? Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I mean we know Bob can hear them at least, so like. Surely they've got some kind of fucking audio receptacles or whatever. But eh, whatever, I can look past that. Like a, a thing happened, I don't care. But 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 yeah, I, I don't think it's too much of an issue. Like I said, it's just it's just they're not at a one hundred percent strength. Really. Yeah, like, look, it's not episode breaking for me at all. It's just mm. it's just one of them things that I think it's like I don't know the the entire the. The angels have been built on the premise of don't close your eyes. And I think that's why it works, though, because it's the fact that Amy has to make her way through these angels, hmm. the famously the monster you cannot close your eyes around, while she's got her eyes closed. Like, the stakes literally could not be higher. Yeah, but then That's she's... why it works for me. Yeah, and, and, and I, I do get that they start to catch on. Mm. I, I, but it takes them a while, and I think... I don't know, for me, it, it, it is a mixture of... If it was just one of those things... Yeah, I'd be fine with it, right? But it's it's the mixture of Amy is walking like a toddler. The Doctor is going, we're tricking them fucking idiots so hard right now. He's not over like a that. phone. <laughs> he's not. He's never like that. No, but it it it's to the effect of if an angel was hearing it, for if a, if any if if a single angel in that crowd mm. had one brain cell, they'd have yeah. got her by now. It feels it. They I, basically. I like the concept, but it feels like, like they've nerfed the angel a bit. This feels very cinema sins of you. I don't think it is. I just I don't I, think so. I don't know. It would be like I don't know if if, if <clears throat> I'm trying to think of like another angel, uh, another alien just being useless, like a Dalek. 
Yeah, it'd be, it'd be, but then there's a million times that Daleks can't exterminate, I guess, yeah. There you go. I, yeah, I, look, it is, I guess it is one of them things. For me, it just... It's plot armour. It happens all the time in Doctor Who. Yeah, I know. And every other show you enjoy. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> all right, fine. Fuck it. Um, I win. <laughs> what do you think of the angels moving? I think it's great. I like it. And it's it's done re- and not just like the angels moving themselves, but the way it's shot, it's very spooky. Mm. They like they use these kind of like off centered um shots and angles and stuff to really like drive up the the creepiness of yeah. them. And it's like unnerving. the slow it is very unnerving and like the slow head turn and stuff, it's it's very spooky and creepy and I enjoy it quite a lot. Mm. Yeah. I I like the that's just a segue. I don't actually like it. I think it's a bit okay. a bit lame that River the teleports bas- Amy. Uh, yeah, but before that, the doctor tells Amy that basically the light from the cl- if the light from the crack crashes up, with- <laughs> tuck and cock. Um, the doctor tells Amy that if the light from the crack catches up with her, she will never have been born. It erases her from existence. And he's getting a bit shouty during this scene, isn't he? He's a bit like. Yeah, I'm an angry boy, and he like snaps at River several times during this scene, and I'm like, I don't know if I like this. Are you not? You're not a fan of this? No, no, no. I don't know. I feel like River's just asking a question, and he's like, like me, for instance. And I'm like, okay, let's let's just let's let's calm down a little bit, you know. See this? I like this because up until this point, we've seen no stop. Lover of Dunker. Fuck's sake, we've seen snippets of. Like I said, this is the first time the Doctor has been under serious pressure, right? And uh-huh. it, no, this Doctor. Okay. <laughs> All right, but I mean, like, there are several problems fucking up his ass. Yes. Um, and he's not really got the handle on how to deal with either one of them at this moment. Yes. Um, to the point where he's like, I'll yeet myself in. That'll buy this universe a couple of centuries maybe who knows not really well oh well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sorry yeah i was thinking of another moment oh yeah. okay um <clears throat> but i i know i i like i like this moment because it, it it's supposed to be flawed you're supposed to yeah. look at him and be like that's not very good i don't like that about you yeah and that's why i say it. i don't like it yeah but like it, I, <laughs> that's why i think it's a good inclusion i'm not gonna like it because i don't like it <laughs> No, but it's it's. A... I'm not gonna be like I don't like that, so I like this. Scene. No, you can think something is a good inclusion. I don't think it's a good inclusion. So you no. don't you don't like the you don't like what it does narratively. No, I just don't like him just snapping a, a river. It just seems a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. It just seems a bit angry man shouting at his wife. Really. Maybe I'm just being too oversensitive, but I don't know. I just don't like it. I do see where you're coming from. Mm. I, see, that's. I think we we're looking at different. I I don't like it, but I think it's an and interesting choice. And you love yelling at your wife. <laughs> no, no, you do. You're always screaming. <laughs> but only these lines. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you take the dog out for a walk today? Like me, <laughs> for instance. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I, look, <clears throat> I like it. I think it's in. It's interesting. Okay. Anyway, Emmy gets teleported, and then she's she's safe, and everyone's happy. Mm. The doctor could kiss her, he says, but he'll have to settle for someone else later. Kissing. You fucked that up, really. <laughs> well, Didn't I realise there's only so much I can say. <laughs> you, you, you massively fucked that up. How much? First of all, he doesn't settle for anyone else. He does kiss her, first of all. So you got that wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll move on from your little faux pas. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Again, uh, I've uh, this is like what we were talking about earlier with those Stephen Moffat lines, where the Doctor says, "Like, um, oh, what is it?" He says, um, "Hold on, I wrote it down." Um, he oh, says, yeah, "I've only got says, one bullet." <laughs> no, no. Like Rivers says, "Oh, I, I'm a big complicated time event. Throw me into the thing instead." And he's like, "Oh, don't be daft. It would take every single one of the um, angels to um, to amount to me. So get a grip." And she's like, "No, Doctor, is him." It's like, "No, get a grip." Because <laughs> it does. It takes every one of the angels to amount to him. It's another one of those. Haha! I said the thing, and you thought it was another thing, but it was actually this thing line. I 
I often see these are the writing moments that I like. But if anyone yeah. spoke to me like this in real life, I'd be like, "You are fucking insufferable." Yeah, no one speaks like this in real yeah. life. Yeah, it does not work in real life at all. I I would have really liked it if when we and potentially if we ever go to Gallifrey. <laughs> We, everyone... Gallifrey's been destroyed, Lawrence. What are you talking well, about? Well, just maybe in a hypothetical scenario, it's been destroyed. Well, we'll no, we'll get to Gallifrey when we watch Classico. Ah, see so that? Yeah, that's what. So I was there we go. Referring to. Yeah. Yes. I I would really like it if everyone spoke like this, just in insufferable <laughs> fucking double meanings, and like no one knew what the fuck was going on because everything could mean two yeah. different things. Yeah, that would be quite fun. Yes. Yeah, and it's just that it's that's why it's such a backward society. No one knows what the <laughs> fuck is happening. Yeah. Uh, anyway, all the angels fly into the light, and then the the crack is stored for now or whatever. Um, They've got a way of you... animating this. Did you notice it's very similar to the way that the Daleks rotate, falling into the void in season two? I mean, how many ways is there to fucking animate something falling into a big? No, thing? there's a specific right. This is. This is coming from someone that keyframes every day of his life. Okay. There is a specific weight to it and the way that they spin them that I know they are not using anchor points correctly, Nathan. Now, if I oh, might get into oh, some no. editing. For... I, no, I don't care. I could not give less of a fuck about any of this. <laughs> I'm just saying there's a way it could look better. Great. You, well, fucking, you fucking shut up. I will. Okay. I will. <laughs> Anyway, Amy is cured because the angel in her mind never existed. They were erased from time. That works for me. Yeah, That's I'm good fine. Enough. I mean, it checks out. I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good stuff. Um, and then I got so caught up in the rest of the episode that I forgot to write any more notes. <laughs> <laughs> so my notes end there. You were so caught up in the, the last scene, were you, the yeah, episode? Yeah, well, I was gripped. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, I... Uh, yeah, so basically, they all get sucked into the time thing. Uh, then they're all kind of sat where the TARDIS is parked they're kind of summing up the episode everyone's saying their goodbyes and their last little moments to each other um, and River's going back to prison uh, yes back she goes enough hopefully enough to have earned her a pardon this time maybe we'll see maybe not um, no, we won't. fun facts we do see later on um, a moment in an episode to come uh, what happens to River directly after this scene like immediately after. Oh, on the other side of that teleport. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Is that in season five? Season six. Season six. Okay. Ah. Same outfit and everything. Yep. Bloody hell. Good bit of fun. Bit of sizzle. Indeed. Um, I. I Timey wimey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does Alex <laughs> Kingston's hair look different, or is it like? No, I think it's still tied back. Okay. Yeah. Continuity wise, would. Well, I mean, I just know that the episode has some flaws continuity wise. Well, we'll talk about the hair continuity in just a moment, Lawrence, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I, I like that there's this moment um, where Amy's kind of wondering <clears throat> why she could remember all of the, the soldiers going. It's because she's a time traveller. Yeah, and the Doctor's... They, I like this moment, right? Because every now and again... Mm. Amy's had a terrible day. And every mm. now and again, she kind of breaks that... The persona of who Amy is as an adult... And you get, you see in her, there's that little girl Amelia still there. Yeah. Where the doctor, he says, you know, you're a time traveler now. It changes how you perceive things. And she has a little giggle and it's just really sweet. Mm. And it's just like, I don't, you spoke last week about how young she looks and it really comes across in that scene because she's, she's she just wearing this little security blanket as yeah. well. And she, she mm. just, she asked the doctor a question and it's purely just to get like a little, just, Basically, give me a verbal hug. I'm feeling like yeah. I need some comfort right now. Ends on a beautiful shot that moment as well. Just mm. like the from the back of them, just looking out over the beach, yeah. the TARDIS in the in the background as well. At the twin you know, suns. There's no twin suns, but yeah, it looks <laughs> it looks very good. And I tell you, I fucking wish how I wish we faded to black there, and then it next time oh man um but no there is unfortunately one more scene to discuss oh. uh so matt smith's had a haircut uh aboard the tardis yeah 
and then <laughs> it's like he had a haircut that day as well yeah like that is fresh. fresh that is a fresh you know when someone's like just had a haircut and you can tell like that is this there's got to be at least the same few days yeah. since the haircut man that's a shaved neck your sideburns yeah. are exactly laser straight yeah that is a fresh haircut he's had oh man it's why this right this, this rewatch made me hate this scene so much more Okay. And I'll tell you for why. It's because the last note, and I just said it on this podcast, was that Amy comes across as that familiar little girl that we all fell in love with in the 11th hour. Yeah. She comes across as someone that just needs a bit of a cuddle. And just a bit... The, basically for the she, doctor to be does, like, I've got She does you. need comforting, yes. <laughs> and then, Well, I'm just saying, that's that's what's going on in her mind. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I look. I will. I'll say this. I hate it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I can see where it's coming from. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying it's good. I can see, perhaps, why one would think Amy would find herself in that situation. Okay. I hate the situation she's found herself in. Mm. I hate what she does. I hate the way. They do the fucking the doctors like no 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 maybe yes no 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 yeah <laughs> mm. hey, I hate all of that um I hate I hate it um but but I can understand the reasoning and the intent behind it it's not good but I can understand it yeah I think and look I I don't want to fucking slate this too much because I'm all for a person getting older and then being like that was dumb. Mm. Yeah, and, and who uh, who among us has not made dumb mistakes like this when we were younger? Yeah, you know? like we both I mean, ripping off Black Mirror. Try, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, try not to sexually assault someone. Definitely don't fucking. Mm. If someone is saying no, 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 do not continue to grab and kiss them. Yeah, that is definitely something you should not do. Um, it's 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 dated in that respect, and it's also it's also the most uninteresting version of this dynamic. Yes, it really is, and it's and yeah. it's like the like this is the same man that wrote her as a fairy tale little girl. Mm -hmm. I I don't need any of this, and I just the the thing that like I say, I'm not gonna fucking just absolutely berate it because as he he has come out and basically said the intention was that this is what happens when you didn't write a scene that communicated something better, like yeah. when you avoid writing a scene that actually would have been somewhat interesting and yeah. boil it down to its weakest form, yeah. which is basically Amy trying to reclaim some power and also re-establishing who she is to the Doctor because she feels a little bit insecure that she's important and doesn't know why. Yeah. That's all interesting stuff for a conversation, but it, it's just expressed in the worst, least interesting way possible. Yeah, yeah, and again, you know, to, Moffat himself has said this was a mistake. Yeah, and he, he said it is, you know, the one thing he would change about series five if he could go back and and do it again, mm. and probably the first thing I would change as well. Yeah. Um, what's the second? Nothing. It's all great. Um, yeah, I like a lot of season five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun so far. Um, but but yeah, it's it's rough. I don't like it. I never want to see it again. Mm. Um, we do get some lingering moments as the series go on, but we're, we're over the worst of it, thankfully. Yeah, it very much kind of climaxes here. Now we're on the fizzle out. Don't say climax. Oh, come on. Come on now, Lawrence. <laughs> I, I th I, do you know what? I think the main reason I hate it is it, it portrays Amy's loyalty. It does. It, yeah. It makes yeah. her relationship with Rory seem undercooked. Someone wrote in an email, and um, it was actually Janaid who got in twice last week. Yes. Um, <laughs> they did confirm that in their email as well. And they, they said, um, I think they said, like, um, you know, something to the effect. Oh, I'll actually just put it up. I, I didn't pick this email, so, so apologies, Janaid, because you got in twice last week, so I think that's fair. 
<laughs> but now but, Nathan is going to quote you, so that's technically But yeah, now I'm, I'm going to get a bit of your email quoted. But then they, they said, um, if Amy really was a kissogram, it's surprising Rory is upset that she kisses the Doctor, as he undoubtedly will be next week. Surely it's just an aspect, aspect of her job that he had to get used to. And I can see where they're coming from. Um, but I think the difference is the intent, okay? Yeah, so one's a job and one is it, cheating, yeah. Exactly. There's a professional line with yeah. one. There's, like, there's no professional line with the other. Like, if you're dating, like, an actor, mm. then it's just a fact that, you know, the actor will have romance and kissing scenes with someone else, and that's just... That's not them cheating, yeah. but it's just something you have to deal with. Have you seen all those, like... It happened a couple of times in the Doom 2 press release, uh, press... Um, Oh, this is where like some fucking TikTokers doing like interviews. Yeah. And he's like, Isn't it weird? <laughs> Isn't it weird to kiss your friend? Grow up, man. Yeah. Fucking yeah, hell. And, and the worst thing is, it's just that <laughs> there's, it happened to both Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet twice. Mm. And both of the second versions of those interviews, it's very much just like, Not really. Yeah. I'm sick of answering this fucking question. <laughs> We've had to do a stage kisses and stuff, and it's just. It's just something you fucking you don't even think about. Yeah, it's actually like, like the furthest thing from being. It is not really romantic kid. at yeah, all. Yeah. It's just like something you have to do. If anything, it's quite annoying. Yeah, really, because you have yeah. to like rehearse it, and you're like, "This is awkward. I don't like this." Yeah, yeah. it's awkward for everyone. No mm. one enjoys it. No, unless you're a weird creep, <laughs> which I am. Which I am as well. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, in the vein of being a weird creep, the last thing I'll say on on this specific scene yeah. um, is that. I'm 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 only a mortal man. Karen Gillan's Scottish accent being seductive is quite something. It is, yeah. And I'll that, give you that. Yeah, and then now we'll we'll lock, <laughs> we'll lock that in there. <laughs> Did you see also I'm only a mortal man. It's Karen Gillan. Come on. Yeah, come um, on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, um did you see the the confidential where like Karen was literally grabbing Matt's thigh <laughs> during the kids, and they were taking the piss out of her. For Matt, it. Matt was like, "I seduced you." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, from they're good mates. They're having a good time. Yeah, I like it. Just two sexy people, two two incredibly hot people doing incredibly hot things. Do you reckon they fucked? <laughs> <laughs> gonna, I mean, they might have. They're both hot. I'm not going to dignify that with a response, Nathan. Maybe. Although I will. Hot. What I will say on the vein of fucking. Um, it's not even really. I really like uh, Amy Pond's bed, the double mattress bed. I like the bed. It's a cool bed. Imagine having a nap on that. Oh, Are you a soft yes. mattress man or a hard mattress man? No, I like a soft. No, no, I don't like it too soft. I don't like it mm. soft to the point where it's like I'm sinking into it. Yeah, you know, because then it's like, no, I need, I need, a, I need a bit of firmness. Like when there. people in that weird year, I can't remember what year, but it was over a decade ago when everyone was like, water beds are amazing. I'm like, they are the worst thing on the in the world. Well, I've missed that year entirely. Do you never? Do you never see anyone with like a? I, I, I for me, everyone that I know knew at least one person with a water bed. I don't think I've ever known anyone with a water bed ever. Fucking dreadful, let me tell you. Right. Just genuinely you know. terrible. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it would be for me. No. Also, I might flood your house. Yeah. Well, if it breaks, it's just I just mean, like yeah. stagnant water in your bed. <sighs> Yeah, it this doesn't is... seem great. No. Also, doesn't water get like gross after a while? Don't you have to like wash it out? And That's stuff? what I'm saying. So every now and again, you're like, oh, I've got, got to go and deflate my bed. Got to go wash my bed out. You know? Fuck well, it. I guess it's not. Well, I don't have to wash my mattress, do I? So periodically insert some fairy liquid in the in the water hole. <laughs> Just give it a good shake. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah. No, that's gross. Anyway, it's time for this. Weirdo of the week. This is everyone's favourite segment of the show where we get to take a chance to look back on some of the weird and wonderful and grubby little characters who come across our screens each and every week. Lawrence, who is your weirdo for this week? The Doctor. Ooh. Why? I'll tell you why, Nathan. Uh, because he is a fucking bullshitter. <laughs> okay. That is why. Um, fraction of a second, he's turning them lights out. I mean, he did. To be fair to it, he did said maybe longer. Yeah. All right. Maybe quite a bit longer. Listen, he, where his exact. I words. think that there is an exaggeration happening 
right? Because a fraction of a second for me yeah. should not, under no circumstances, <laughs> actually equal a 17 full Mississippi second runtime. <laughs> okay. I counted, <laughs> and that is outrageous. W- would you not say that's quite a bit longer than a fraction of a second? Who's your weirdo of the week? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You you know you you don't need a fucking... You don't need to rebuttal it, right? You could just live with it. I know, but it would eat me alive if I didn't. (laughs) God damn you. Anyway, what did you say the moth? Uh, Stephen Moffat is my weirdo. For obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. We just talked about it. (laughs) Also, and this is... Let's not even expand on this, because it is... Definitely on the verge of sizzle. Oh, if you're talking about relationships? I'm just going to say, when people tell me that everything was planned, sure it was. <laughs> yeah. <fair. laughs> Much like uh, George Lucas always knew that Luke and Leia would be brother and sister. I mean, it's not the same as that. No, but it's on the path. It's not great. <laughs> it's a stone's throw away. <laughs> but it's not the same. <laughs> I'm just saying the Doctor is living a fantasy. Uh. No, he's not. <laughs> I don't think he is. And if that's yours... No! <laughs> Get a therapy. Um, anyway, before we move on, still got thoughts. A fun little peek behind the curtain. While the Weirdo of the Week theme was playing, Nathan and I compared lengths of each other's hair. <laughs> Mine is considerably longer. It is much longer. I'm thinking about getting it cut. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. What I kind of shave style? My head. Shaved head. Oh, full bald. Should I just go for it? Should I just shave my head? Or oh, maybe, or maybe I'll just like, sh- I'll, I'll, I'll I'll like shave a mohawk into it, yeah. but then just like not alter the mohawk at all. So like it's still this long, but just as a mohawk, <laughs> one know? really long just, mohawk, just one like really long strip down the middle. Oh, that would be good. That would be very good. And then maybe I'll dye it pink, like that guy who sells potatoes on TikTok. I sh- I'm lost, and just like that, I'm lost. <laughs> There's a guy on TikTok who sells potatoes. No, I gathered th- that information. <laughs> and he's got pink hair. <laughs> See? He's got a pink mohawk or something. What should I do? My hair. I reckon you should grow it. Nah, see, that just looked bad. It looked like a comb over because I've just got a terrible bald spot. It looks bad for a while. Like, it's when it's in that awkward, like, longer than normal but not quite long phase. Like, you don't get me this, wrong. I mean, this is like what it is shit. now. No, look, you're nowhere near that no, phase. No, let me move my moment. headphone. Look, look at all of no, this. No, you're, you're nowhere near that phase at the moment, Lawrence. Uh, <laughs> it's longer like, than I'd like it. To be. <laughs> it needs to get quite a bit longer before you're at that phase. Um, yeah, grow it out. I want to grow my beard. You can't. I mean, I could. You can't, genetically. But, no, I can. That's what you get. <laughs> That's not true. It is. That's what you get. <laughs> I, I shave regularly. Also, like your your beard, like connects to your mustache on one side, but not the other. No, right. This is a shadow. This doesn't look like this in better lighting. Okay. Well, <laughs> you often see me in this office <laughs> at night. Huh? You done? I was reading a text. Yeah, I was reading a text. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, Nathan, it is that time of the show where the audience get to have their say. What happens is Nathan will tweet still out a post, let thoughts. you guys know what episode we're recording it's and when. Still got thoughts. Right, okay. Um, I'm doing the theme song while you're talking. Okay. <laughs> and then our lovely loyal Everybody's listeners send in their thoughts, thoughts and we can read out a and handful of them. Uh, we have thoughts. changed the format a little bit recently, it's so if this is the part where you normally thoughts. leave us, maybe stick we around to see what you reckon. Thoughts. Nathan? Do you still have thoughts? I don't, but the good people at home do. Uh, they've been dialing in. I've got no. some of their tweets. Okay. I'm going to read some out to you now. Don't you mean some of their X's? Oh, sorry. Yes. We've we've got a few X'd. X's. How does it work? It doesn't. That's the thing. It doesn't, Lawrence. Would you send an X or would you X? I don't do anything. I send tweets. Uh, I send good tweets. He said, follow me on Twitter so I can freak out and wonder who you are and why you're following me. <laughs> and scroll back through your profile. Have I met this person? <laughs> Uh, this one comes in from Greg Cactus Face. 
Ah, the man, the myth, the legend. It's It's been a while, but everyone rest assured, if you do follow us on Twitter, Greg has been writing in with both a horse and baseball reference every single week. Um, Go back, check them out. Give Greg a follow so you can see them for yourself. Definitely do. Naturally, I can't read them out every week, but every now and again when Greg catches me unawares with a nice reference, I do like to read it out. So this one uh, comes in and it says, During this episode, the Ooh. Doctor is saved from the Weeping Angels by a crack. <laughs> This is one way in which the Doctor is similar to many baseball stars. Utilising crack, some baseball stars are able to push their physical limits to perform... (laughs) (laughs) They're able to push their physical limits to perform feats a human body should not be able to achieve. Oh, wow. (laughs) So just uh, exposing the, um, the dosing fucking culture of baseball players. Doping, I believe. Is that what... What did I say? Dosing, dosing. Uh, yeah. Would you, you would dose? No, a you crack. Wouldn't. Just move on. Just move on. You were wrong. <laughs> okay, well. No, no. From, as is custom, we have to discuss this. No, move on. <laughs> I want to get this in under two hours. Okay, this one comes in from Mel uh, at m un- underscore uh, Melly Mel. Yep. Yeah, hey, at m underscore l e mel. Thank you. No, Melly Mel. We discuss this. It's Melly Mel. Fine. Wait for a reason. No, it's just Melly Mel. Okay, Melly Mel. <laughs> I thought I was in trouble then. No. The angels always make for a good episode. Having to keep your mm. eyes shut while walking through a herd of angels is nightmare fuel. What do you yes. think? What do you think the collective noun should be for a group of weeping angels? Ooh, a um. This man knows Latin as well, so he'll be good at this one. <laughs> shut up. Well, I always like um the one for crows because a, a a group of crows is a murder, a murder of crows, Not which cry. is quite ominous. Yeah. Um, you didn't know hear what me. You said. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just went, yeah, and moved on. And I'm not even going to go back. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm thinking something stone, something rock based. A um, uh, weeping a rock angel collection. No, a rock collection. <laughs> no, that's bad. Um, pebbled. A pebbled beach. A pebbled beach. <laughs> A pebbled beach of angels. A pebbled beach. Yeah, I, I can yeah. get amongst that. Yeah? A yeah. pebbled beach of angels, I think. What about a wee pie? No, that's awful. It's got to be a thing. Yeah. It's like a school of sharks, a murder of crows, a pebbled beach of angels. You can't just say, a, you can't just make up a word. In my house, for years, we have always laughed at the concept of a group of horses being mm. called heese. You've you've actually mentioned this on the podcast several times. Oh, I'm so boring. Sorry. <laughs> one of the podcasts, anyway. So not even this one. I didn't even get one free pass. Mate, I don't know if it was this one or the other one, right. but you've done it. Fine. Uh, let's record another reaction where you, you laugh at that. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> and then you can fact check and put in whatever one. No. It's like you always used to... <laughs> Back when we did, fuck it, this is going back, but back when we did Your Opinion Sucks, and you would, whenever there was like a lull in the conversation, you would always fucking go, what would win between a bear and a shark or some shit? I Without forgot fail. about that. <laughs> oh, it's just one of your go-tos. It's a good one. Fucking I'm going to go back to it. Uh, and this last one comes in from Jared Coastal. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, All the greats showing up this week. Indeed. Another Moffat. Ooh. And that's written as Moffat as well. Yeah, I got it. Another Moffat get out of jail free card with the teleporter. <laughs> Write a proper conclusion, pal. <laughs> I think the teleporter's fine. <laughs> it, it, no, but it is very get Amy out of trouble button. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought we were talking about River at the end. Oh, no. She's, yeah. She has to get unless she can fly. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is when the doctor's like, You're gonna have to do this. It's such an impressive feat if you can get this done. And then and then River's like, Never mind. They uh, they did set it up though, to be fair. Yeah. It's not like they just pulled the teleporter out of their ass. I do I, I, I can The forgive teleporter it. was set up. Yeah. And and I, I can forgive it because the doctor is just screeching and hollering and yeah. being generally unpleasant. But if he actually just listened to River Exactly, it is humbling. Yeah, yeah, know? and she's like, yeah. "I told you I could get this working, you fucking idiot." Yeah, yeah. you misogynistic prick. <laughs> yeah, I better yeah. think twice before I become what I am to you. Maybe who knows? <laughs> well, she already is. Or kill you. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Anyway, um, emails. Is that it? Yeah, emails. I love them. Uh, Flesh and Stone. This is from Leo Smith, who says, "Hi, found your podcast a few weeks ago and just finished catching up. So it's time to start emailing in." Well done. My Lord. Congratulations. We love you for that. Uh, for some reason, when I found your podcast, I started with The Waters of Mars. Fuck oh, it, no. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Leo. <laughs> and as it was your most recent episode at the time, uh, then went to Rose and worked my way forward, and boy, was I confused. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine uh anyway the time of angels what a banger and a great intro to a two-parter um sent from my iphone sent from outlook ios sent from outlook windows Wait, sent from gmail uh, hang on this can't possibly all be true <laughs> well that's what it says <laughs> i think we've been rinsed <laughs> so there we go thank you very much leo we're glad you're here i can't imagine it. the fucking tonal whiplash of going from our most unhinged episode yeah, to from, the most professional most clean cut. Is that is as is our most unhinged? Is our longest? I don't know if it's our most unhinged. I, uh, I think it's at it's it is at the crux of that is the least accessible episode. Okay, because it's just everyone being like, "Hey guys, we're going to try and help you get to six hours." <laughs> mm, maybe. Uh, anyway, still got mail. Hi Nathan and the other one. This is oh, Doctor right, okay. Strange Love from the Discord. Uh, first time emailing you guys. Uh, wanted to start off saying I love the podcast and have been binging you guys since I found y'all in January. I don't sound right saying y'all. Y'all. Um, you guys have taken up all my podcast time for the gym and work. So thanks for that. Hell yeah. Well, go to the gym. Fucking pumping. <laughs> That's the only way I'm in a gym is when I'm on a podcast <laughs> in someone's ears. Technically, you could say that we've been going to the gym. Yeah, we're in the gym. Yeah, but if but if you're listening to us while committing crimes, we're not there. No, yeah, we have no, we have nothing it's, to do. It, with it starts yeah. and ends at the gym. It was them, officer. <laughs> um, <laughs> last episode, Nathan talked about how the dialogue implies that the Doctor met River again while he's ten, and while the show never says that there's, uh, while the show never says that there have been three big finish audio dramas that show the tenth Doctor having adventures with River and did a fun timey wimey. Uh, is his first couple of dates with her, but not the first for her. Uh, I know I've actually listened to them. They're actually oh. pretty good fun. Peter Davidson's in um, at least some of them as well. So. so when you say, oh, I don't think this is the first time, or the... the, the you, you were saying that from a place of knowledge. No, well, it depends on if you class Big Finish as canon or not. Oh, because I see. Personally, I don't. But, well, not canon to the show anyway. But it, its own version of canon, yes. But Yeah. So Big but, Finish is a canon in itself and Doctor Who is a canon in itself. It's like it's like Agents of Shield to the MCU, okay? I'm just playing catch up then. No, 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 no. The MCU is canon to Agents of Shield, but Agents of Shield is not canon to the MCU. Right, I see. Okay, okay yeah. Like everything that happens in Doctor Who is canon to Big Finish, but like that does not mean that Doctor Who the TV show is going to be like, "Oh no, we can't do that because Big Finish already did, already like or said something that contradicts this, they're going to be like, no, we're the show. We fucking dictate what happens. That's an in I've never thought about it like that. That's quite an interesting way to develop an idea, isn't it? What do you mean? Like, I like, I, I like that. I've always thought it to be, like, kind of unified of these two ideas have to coexist at the same time. But Not really. Like, I don't even think Big Finish is, like, BBC. I don't think it's, like, anything to do with the BBC, really. Huh. Or maybe it's licensed. I don't know. I don't know. It has to be licensed. I'm sure it'd be licensed in some way, yeah. yeah. But I don't think like BBC are like funding it directly though. So Well I think it's Nick Briggs who does a lot of Big Finish. I don't know. There's pro there's people in the Discord who know more about Big Finish than me. I think Jay knows quite a bit about Big Finish. The so. most I know about Big Finish is every now and again a clip of Christopher Eccleston will come out and it'd be like, Listen, I like to work and feed my kids. <laughs> yeah. This is why I'm doing this. <laughs> to be clear. Yeah. I'm in it for the money. <laughs> yes. And the, but I'm never coming back to the show. Yeah. Um. Anyway, where was I? 
the Emmy and Doctor kiss in this episode, and it still makes me violently recoil from how wrong it is. Uh, but to play devil's advocate, I see what Moffat was trying to do with it. Yeah. Uh, but the execution was wrong. Amy had just had her imaginary friend come back after years and swoop off into the universe a day before her wedding, just him and her. So she's obviously confused and conflicted about what she feels. But I feel Moffat could have made it an attempted kiss that she immediately regrets instead of her just going all in trying to dance with him, Dr. Dance is Dr. Fox, <laughs> uh, and it wouldn't have fell out of as out of character for Amy. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to progress into the 11th Doctor's era as the 11th Doctor and Pawns were my first Doctor and companions and still my fave. There's so much about their stories I just want to write about in this email, uh, so I can't wait till we are even till we are into the even juicier stuff. Sorry if this was a long, rambling, unorganized mess. I have ADHD and never been good at writing my thoughts in writing form like this. Lawrence can relate. <laughs> uh, <Fuck yeah. laughs> P.S. Red bow tie clears the blue one, so you guys are wrong. Oh. Incorrect, I'm yeah. afraid, Doctor Strange Love. I feel like I need to fake an opinion because I don't like being on the same side of suit talk as you. I mean, well, I'm not changing mine, so I'll shill. <laughs> My opinion can be bought. Someone cash app me some money. You don't have cash app. I don't. I should. Uh, send from my iPhone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Doctor Strange Love. Uh, and the last one here is from the Dan Beaver, a.k.a. our good friend, Leah. Hello, oh, sorry, hello, boys. Uh, I hope all is well at Nathan's new job. It is, thank you very much. And Lawrence's same old job of making banger caravan of garbages and doing other important editing things, I'm sure. Oh, is it important? Not really. Nah, I wouldn't um, class it as important. Important nah. to the people that put them out, I guess. It's important that he makes more TikToks. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of bangers this episode sure was close i loved how stressful it felt with everything piling up at the worst possible moment with the doctor snapping out as he desperately tried to think of a solution where someone would walk away safely it just felt oddly slow for me and the ending did leave a bad taste in my mouth i'm happy to see that we're seemingly course correcting almost immediately in that immensely long next week trailer for an episode i have genuinely heard nothing about uh, but it's still a sour note to end on Weirdo of the Week goes to whoever decided that we should see the angels moving. That's not the point of the angels. It doesn't make them scarier. It just makes them a generic Doki Who monster. Anyways, it's trivia time. As always, <laughs> there's a fake one sneaking around in there. Can you guess what? Uh, any response to all of that so far? Uh, I, I don't think the, the angels turning makes them like just another villain. I do agree that it like mm. it goes against what has been established about the, the angels. Right. And you hate that. No, no, no. It goes sense. against the norm. Yeah. But I think the the way they execute it isn't like offensively bad. I just think it's a different approach to it. I enjoy it. Uh, the Impossible Planet. I remember one of these is incorrect. Yeah. Uh, the Doctor and Rose's initial introduction to the Ood would have lasted a little longer, culminating in one of the crew slapping a translator sphere out of an Ood's hand, prompting a harsh talking to from Rose. Ooh. Mm. It seems that the Slovene were going to be the slave race in this episode, or at least another family from the planet Raxacorico Falapatorius, uh, believing that the planet being explored was the dwelling place of their god. That would free them. This was changed when Russell was concerned that their return would detract from the human, sp from the human perspective of the episode, as well as the cost of repairing the old costumes would have been too high. My money's on that yeah, one so far. Yeah, I think that far. one's a bit of bullshit. Yeah, yeah that sounds a little bit fishy to me. Uh, Russell would jokingly admit in an interview that the text the TARDIS was unable to translate would have said, all of the answers to every mystery I have ever created for this show. That sounds like Russell. That, that sounds like some Russell yeah. shenanigans he'd get up to. Hmm. Yeah. The planet, the planet was originally just straight up named Hell. I think I've heard that, so I think that one's right. Huh. I've been stumped on the last two. Well, there's more. Okay. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> the Satan Pit. Completely by coincidence, this episode was released on the 6th of June, 2006. Oh, I can actually fact check that. Um, the Doctor's big speech to the devil in the pit was done in a single take with the casting crew and he had 15 minutes to get the scene done. 
Um, and then Davros and the Master were considered to be what was at the bottom of the pit. Similarly, the Toclophane were once again considered for this episode. Good luck, Leah. Ooh, I think that last, last one, one could be bollocks. Yeah. Because yeah. the Toclophane were something originally, weren't they? Because that's been brought up before um, in another piece of trivia. Yeah, but, but that's, I feel like that putting the, the Master and Davros in a room together feels like what... But f- that could... But the, uh, but, oh, no, the Master or Davros. Oh, no, it does say Davros and the Master. Yeah, it feels like what a, a, like a, a student fan film would idea would be. But that could also... You know, it could be like one of those things where, like, you know, at one point there's a discussion around the table and they're like, oh, what if the master was in this? And then they go, maybe, oh, no, that really doesn't work. And then they just move on. Yeah. And then, like, fucking three years later, that comes out and it's a variety article that says, the master was very nearly in this episode of Doctor Who. And it's like, no, <laughs> yeah. that's not how that works at all, you know? Yeah, this could have been overblown, yeah. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm going with the Slovene one. That sounds... Yeah, I'm, incorrect. I'm, I'm, to I'm, me. I'm, no, you have to go different. Oh, fine. Then I'll go on the master. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. That's our answers. Let us know, Leah. Oh, we Let don't have the know. answers. No, we don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> no. I guess we'll find out. Leah, in the send Discord. the answers. <laughs> we'll find out in Discord. We'll find out in oh, Discord. Yeah, okay. Uh, on Monday. So if you want to find out the answer, join Discord. All the more Let reason to come over and join exactly. us. Exactly. Come on over. The water's fine. Um, that is it, uh, but not for this week because what is happening later in the week, Lawrence? Oh boy, Nathan! So they uh, the second, uh, meanwhile, in the TARDIS minisode will be coming out on the YouTube channel. Ooh! And what is that YouTube channel, Lawrence? It is called Another Happy Studios. It's the umbrella uh, channel for both of our podcasts, um, which Nathan will tell you a little bit about in a minute. But yeah, look out for that video. Not sure what day. I think Wednesday. Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. I'm just thinking about my schedule. I don't care. <laughs> well, you uh, should. <laughs> you're thinking, I'm thinking about <laughs> this schedule. Well, <laughs> this is your schedule now. <laughs> I see. Uh, no, I think Wednesday should be fine anyways. Wednesday. Yeah, I think Wednesday's fine. Well, that's good, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be. It just might be cut to two minutes. <laughs> nope. So we'll see. No, I'm joking. Go on Wednesday. It will be there. Um, I may even send a bit of an early access on the Discord. Ooh, they'll sizzle. We'll maybe get there. We'll maybe see. Yeah. Um, but anyway, all that to say, it's not true at all. Here's the outro. <laughs> uh, thank you very, very much for listening. If you've enjoyed the show, then please feel free to leave us a little five-star review. It would be very much appreciated. You can do that yes. directly through your podcast platform of choice. Apple is always good. Yes. Uh, because they allow you to write a little message. And actually, yes. I haven't checked the Apple in a while i'm gonna go i checked it recently i think there was um no i don't think there was anything new since last time actually oh this has worked out brilliantly i promise you i did not preempt this um i mean they have spelt my name wrong from from tubby starms five stars who said lawrence is my king love his intros and here's a hundred percent of the time right opinions on the show don't let nathan get you down you definitely planned I that. Pro- I swear on my you life, I did You hundred percent. I swear, fucking on my- Look, stoked the flames there. Here's the thing, I know that I'm telling the truth. I don't need to prove it. Well, good because I don't believe you. <laughs> it's fine. I, I genuine <laughs> jokes aside, genuinely did not plan that, but that worked out brilliantly. Um, anyway, yeah, like that. You can go uh, leave us a little Apple review. It'd be nice. We can read out what you're saying. It's always nice to see a nice little ego boost for us. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter. We are at Still Got Legs Pod. Be sure to go over there to keep up with the latest cool things going on, as well as uh, it being a good little place for you to drop your thoughts on the next episode we're covering on the show. But if you are not on social media, then fear not. You can also send your thoughts into Still Got Legs Podcast at gmail.com. As you've just heard, each week we're picking out a handful of responses and reading them out. Good bit of fun. Also, we've already plugged this, but join the Discord. Lots of great stuff going on in there. You can do that through the link in the show notes, or is it a description? Show notes. Show notes, there you go. Uh, Yeah, you can join the little server. (laughs) Have a good time with us. There's genuinely some fun stuff going on. Good movie chats, good telly chats. It's not just Doctor Who. It's a lot of Doctor Who. It's mostly Doctor Who. No, but there's also a lot of other stuff going on. Everyone's posting their Hoodle scores, which is good fun. (laughs) I I did did a framed again. I got so fucked off that I didn't know it. Um, So I, I, I didn't check it again. Nathan, we have another podcast, don't we? 
we do it's called another happy pod it is our pop culture podcast where every week we get together and discuss something in that realm be it a movie a tv show a video game um or something else coming soon um and yeah we have a lot of fun we mostly argue about stuff um <laughs> so what is and yeah become yeah yeah we're just wrapping up jurassic march um in our latest episode so join us for jurassic park 3 and next week we are doing nope something else um oh hunger games pretty cool movie Hun- hungry hungry hippos hunger games pretty cool movie Song of Salads and Slippery Devils. Well done. Very funny and very much worth it. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much for listening. We will see you all next Monday at 10 a.m. Goodbye. With Catherine. Oh, with Catherine. Yeah, Catherine's joining. I mean, we'll do that next week. Well, you know, little sizzle. Little sizzle. Yeah, Catherine's coming back. Vampires in Venice. Oh, crossover. Crossover pod. Yep. (laughs) Anyway. You're going to have watched all of Vampire Diaries by next week, yeah? I've not watched any of it apart from that one episode I did. (laughs) Are you going to keep it that way so that if you do uh, if you do another guest on Missing Mystic Falls, you can... The only the only way I will ever watch another episode of Vampire Diaries is if I am uh, asked by Catherine to come onto that, that podcast again, Missing Mystic Falls, in which case I will watch that episode. You could be missing seasons worth of context. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, last I heard, this person was dead. I mean, maybe. I'll... <laughs> Almost I'll, definitely. I'll let you know when I eventually watch that episode. Oh, very presumptuous. He thinks he's getting back on. Klaus is here or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, Klaus. <laughs> oh, that Klaus. Anyway, that's it for this week, folks. Have a lot of fun. Say hello to your mum for me. Keep safe. We love you. Good night. Bye. <laughs>